two, one. What's up, everybody? We're live. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, we're just going to have a little conversation tonight. It's Tuesday night. You know what it is. Young Lion TV. Young Lion, Young Lion. Yep, we're back Tuesday night. We're here at True Sound Studios in Camden, New Jersey, as we always do when we're in town. Um, we want to thank everybody who's checking in right now in the chat. I see Junior in there. I see Stiz in there. Uh, a few other people were checking in, but they have went by, so I don't know if they're still there. Um, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna have some conversation. I got. My brother-in-law with me once again, Mr. James Garcia. What's going on? My brother Jake is here. Put the scully on. With the scully. We got Moan here Mm -hmm. with the the denim jacket. And we got Rachel on the ones and twos. Yep. She looks really warm over there. Yeah, she's very (laughs) nice and toasty. It's cold in here today. All purpled out. Mm -hmm. Wish we could put a camera on you. (laughs) (laughs) Her face says, don't put the camera on me. (laughs) Please don't. Um, yeah, but, um, if you're watching this, we appreciate y'all, um, people that have been tuning in every week, they've been riding with us. We're going to try to keep this going. We're going to try to move this in 2020. We're going to try to like really expand on this podcast, going to start, um, you know, putting some money behind it and and really trying to branch it out and reach more people, people that want to hear conversations. I think conversations like these people, uh, tend to enjoy when people are speaking honestly and they feel like they can hear. I know we do. Yeah, we do. And I know there's other people that do, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Genuine. Yeah, it's genuineness. Um, Plus, a lot of it is us going into what our music is about, and, like, it all ties together. So Mm -hmm. we're trying to give people an inside look at the way we think and why we write what we write and why we talk about what we talk about and do what we do and live the lives that we live and make the choices we make. So if you want to be a member and you want to um, sign up to be a Young Lion, you can go to our Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Young Lion TV. And uh, you can donate or you can sign up, you can subscribe there and uh, you become a member. And then we're going to open all that up to little special things here and there. Um, But you also just be supporting what you love. And you can get Go to jatan.com to get music and merch, J U T A U N dot com, and also uh, Cash App, uh, Dollar Sign Young Lion TV, and um, you know, if you want to donate. Um, so, yeah, all of that. But what were we talking about before? Before the podcast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everything, we, everything. We always. Cats. <laughs> We are, we always get into these like discussions before while we're setting up for the podcast, and we like we're like we should have just saved that for the podcast. But um, anybody in the chat, if you uh, if you have something to say, make sure you chime in. But um, yeah, let's just talk about what's going on, what's been going on this week. Uh, anything interesting happened over the weekend? I know you went to see uh, Bad Boys. Yeah, it was. I didn't get a chance to see it. It was cool. I didn't really want to. It was more my wife than me. Why? Why didn't you want to? Because I don't know. Bad he's, a, he's a hater. <laughs> I'm not a hater. <laughs> no, it don't seem the like second Jake, one, Jake's type movie. The second one was kind of whack. I don't know. You guys remember? It, it wasn't as good as the first one. No. no. I liked it. I liked it. I, liked I didn't it. think it was bad. It, I mean, it was a lot of cheesy one liners. Yeah, and yeah. that cliche scene with the. The, uh, you the think kid, the first one was better the than the second one? I do. Really? I do, I yeah. do too. I, I think, think the first, first one was like classic. Well, yeah. let me tell you something. This could have gone terribly wrong because you know who was originally cast to play oh, that version? Right? I did hear about that. For all of you don't know, it was John Lovitz and Dana Carvey yeah. as bad boys. They were, really? <laughs> really? Yes. That would have been forgotten. Yeah. yeah. Really it would have cool. just been a throwaway movie. Actually, it was, really, it was, it was from Martin really when Martin got the script. Yeah. But I don't know who was. It was not supposed to be Will. Martin actually picked Will. Yeah, Martin picked. Well, no, he said that um, Michael Bay told him to pick someone. Michael <coughs> oh, okay, Bay said, okay. like, yeah, you know, yeah. f- find someone that you want to co-star mm-hmm. with. Yeah. And he actually said it was his girlfriend at the time that was like, you should use Will. 
Wow. Yeah. All right. Which is interesting. They have good chemistry. They do. They that's do. why that's why to me I like the second one because in the first one, the chemistry, like, okay, with Will in the first one, like Will was such a goody goody. Yeah. Martin was already like a bad boy. Right. To see Will in that role. You know what I mean? It, what, it, what do you mean? Like in In the first one. In the first one, Will was a goody goody. In, 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 in his image, like the Fresh Prince. Okay. Like he wasn't, nah, he, he was, I didn't see him was, as a cop. Wait a minute. No, because no, in, in, the the in the Fresh Prince, he was supposed to be the one causing havoc. Yeah, but he was he more was of a clown, hood. though. You know what I mean? He wasn't no, like a bad he, boy cop. He, Yeah, that's true. You know? He wasn't like a, a womanizer. Like even when he cursed, he was, even like, when he cursed, it felt unnatural. Yeah. You know? But the second me. one, the second one, I think that chemistry. Dude, that scene in the first one that always sticks out to me that was funny as hell is when, <laughs> when, uh, when uh, Will Smith, um, when Martin's staying in the apartment with the chick and then Will comes there. Right. And then Mike he, Larry? And no, no, I know. But when, when Will is like, has to pretend he's not oh, yeah, him yeah. and Martin is just like letting the dog shit on the floor and right, everything. Right. And Will's just like, oh, that's just what we're doing now, huh? Okay. Like that, that yeah, scene yeah. is hilarious because right, right, he has right. to like, you are right, he can't right. say anything. That was the beginning of their chemistry. They, yeah, they had they a natural, playing, yeah. the way they were playing off each other. I just right. saw it. Like, not too, it's good, man. Like, yeah. The first one is really, yeah. and I saw both of them. Cause I never even made. Oh, they've it been playing them back to back. Yeah. Because oh, of course. Up for I never oh, made it through the second one. Yeah. Really? So it's like I don't know. To me, I like them. The oh, I'm definitely better. curious to see what this one's like. But yeah, I like this one. I thought that they put a lot of <clears throat> there were a lot of twists in it. Okay. Things you you didn't expect. You said you liked it. Yeah. Okay. So you're saying in the 2050 when the next one comes out, you like that one? <laughs> yeah. What was the time? It seemed like it was so long ago. Bad Boy yeah. Two. 2003. I, I was 22. Yeah. 2003 Dang. was the last one. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. But the first one was what? 1995. So 95, that yeah. was almost yeah. 10 years. You know what I mean? They mm-hmm. they they put spans between them. Yeah. yeah. But um, but, does the storyline try to make try to make sense of that time gap? Like. Mm. Spoiler, Without giving spoiler spoilers alert. Away. I mean, that's not not, not really. Okay, it's his own thing. Yeah, I mean, it, a little bit, but not really. It doesn't really go into any detail with that. But there's a lot of the like, you know, the captain is still there. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just it's the right. same type of thing. Right. I mean, I will say like Martin's trying to like because they kind of give it away in the, yeah in the previews. Martin's trying to. Retired. Right. He's always been trying yeah, to quit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah part know. two was kind of similar uh, along those lines. He was trying to settle down. He's a more know. urban Murtaugh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 right, Mr. right. Mr. It, Mr. It was like, what up? This. Jake's trying to critique movies now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not critiquing. I'm just What's saying. up, coach? I like it. Hey, Jake, if Jake is very critical of movies, so we will ask his right. opinion to <laughs> see, see what he critical. thinks. But um, no, it was a good, like the relationship. Mm-hmm. It was good. It was yeah, they have good chemistry, man. Yeah. But you you're saying like the element of how they make the relationship part of the story is what you kind of liked. Yeah, like how it grows and yeah. You know, it it's cool. I like that. Like I think really good movies are always like you have all that little play stuff, but if you don't make mm-hmm. if the relationship isn't believable, mm-hmm. then it's kind of like it all falls. Yeah, apart. no, they have it. They yeah. have it. So I think, because I was just thinking about that, like watching movies from the mm-hmm. past and thinking about like the little stupid movies that I liked. Like one of the movies I was thinking about was Days of Thunder. You guys remember that movie? Yeah, yeah. yeah Days of Thunder. <laughs> and it's a cheesy movie, that's but a, that's a NASCAR one. I like it because of that. Is it NASCAR? Yeah, it's NASCAR. Yeah, it's yeah, NASCAR. Yeah, yeah. Tom okay. Cruise. Yeah, I know yeah. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise, yeah. and who's the guy who's like the pit? Master or whatever. You I don't remember. It. He's in a lot of movies, but anyway, their relationship, how it grows, and at the end, they do mm-hmm. the stupid race against each other. Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember it. Yeah. It's like the music, <clears throat> and it, the music. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. I even though the movie was kind of like yeah. not that great, but the character, relationship, character development. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really good. Which is what we don't see today in today's movies. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um. Did you was there any noticeable like propaganda like mind control bullshit in it? <laughs> um, because that's the shit. I watch movies I and when I see that, I just kind of like <laughs> right, roll right. my eyes. Well, you know that's coming. Yeah, you know. I don't think so. It really wasn't much. If I see a movie and it doesn't have that, I'm like, please, like, okay, it's a good movie. Right, yeah. right, right. I mean, might have like the new. There was like a new crew that they brought in. 
Uh, a little okay. bit in that, but okay. but it wasn't like you know anything crazy. It was just they, tr- it just seemed like they tried to flip roles a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know, like you know how they do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. kind of can't get away from that. Right. But it wasn't like <clears throat> over the top. All right, that's cool. So. Anything else happened this weekend? Anyone want to talk about? Yeah, no, that was it for me. I mean, I a- Andy Reid going oh. to another Super Bowl. Andy Reid going to a Super Bowl. That's cool. I didn't even watch the game, man. It was I good. Did. I actually watched it. It was good. I didn't even watch Chiefs it. Are, I'm not going to lie. Man, Patrick Mahomes is a freaking beast, yo. He is a beast. Yeah? Yeah, he's probably the best best playing, best quarterback playing right now, yo. Yeah. Football football is fun to watch, man. It's just, I don't know. like When the Eagles are, are out of his, like. I can't, like, <laughs> commit my whole life to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like. Right. I watch the Super Bowl and I watch the Eagles play, but <clears throat> other than that, I'm not gonna a super fan. I'm not, yeah, I'm not gonna spend my whole, right. you know, twelve hours on Sunday watching football games. Yeah, it's right. crazy. I think we got <laughs> jaded with dad. Right, with that, you know, dad just takes just watch, watch all Sunday long. Yeah, your dad? Yeah, yeah. really? Yeah. yeah, my dad was. My dad loved watching baseball and football. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we grew up. That's why we we grew up playing baseball. Mm. You know, we I mean, we when we were young, we were super into it. Like, yeah. I used to collect all the cards. We still have a lot of cards. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, I used to keep stats of the Phillies in my notebook. And like, <laughs> like I was it was weird. Yeah, yeah. Mainly because of him, your dad. Um, he, well, he introduced us to it, but he didn't like. He wasn't one of those dads like. Y'all gonna play baseball? Oh, okay. You know what yeah, I mean. It was just yeah. kind of like once I got into it and and it was fun. I got into it. You know, right, right. we used to we used to play pretty much in the summer. We used to play every day. Right. We used to go out to it was kind of like the Sandlot vibe. Like all yeah. the kids in the neighborhood would go mm-hmm. to the. Um, we actually, you know, there was no fields where where we lived. We used to play in a tennis court. Yeah. <laughs> we used to play in like an old abandoned tennis court. It had no nets in it. Mm-hmm. So we, we used to turn mm-hmm. like the. Um, you know, like the lines on the tennis court became the lines of the baseball field, mm-hmm. and we used to um, just yeah, set half, those up as half bases. of yeah. the tennis court. Was, yeah, yeah. And um, the the fencing around the tennis court. We were kids, so the fencing was like you know, you hit it outside yeah, the fence. They got the home really run. high fencing. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it was like if you could hit it out, yeah. that's a home run. Yeah. Okay. See, that's a world I don't know because my dad was not. <clears throat> excuse me, my dad was not into sports at all. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it's just. Again, it's about ex- exposure and what you grew up with. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. I think that's a lot of where our competitive nature comes from mm-hmm. because we grew up playing sports in our entire lives, you know, right, right, right. and every sport we could play. And we grew up in a neighborhood where everyone played sports and we all yeah, played yeah, against yeah. each other and mm-hmm. everyone wanted to be the best. You know what I mean? You know? No, we were active. You know, my siblings and I, we were active. Like, yeah. you know, we played games. But, sport. like, I mean, obviously in the Caribbean, we didn't have the – the commercialism attached to sport, like you know, stadiums. Right, and, right. You know, we didn't even have a TV, so we could, yeah. you know, if we saw we saw cricket and soccer. Yeah. And cricket is boring. Soccer, you know, it's. That's why you guys while. used to race your your sandals down the uh, the stream. That was a sport. <laughs> that right was there. a sport. <laughs> you make your own sports up. <laughs> I still don't want to Biggest loser. Cricket. Uh, yeah, cricket, cricket is another is, sport. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's hard to get. It. It's hard to get into. Yeah. It's. It looks like baseball, but then. There's it's, yeah. two batters. <laughs> That's why he sucked at tennis. Who uh, sucked at tennis? Jamie. <laughs> Who said that? I guess he's talking about you. Who I said that? Played, uh, oh, Coach Haley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I only played tennis one year, and I didn't suck, first of all. I didn't suck. Wasn't he the coach? He was a coach. He was. Yeah. Freshman coach, right? Yeah. I only played one year, <laughs> just because I thought it would be Wasn't fun. it like the soccer Guys would always play tennis. Wasn't that the thing? I don't remember the soccer guys playing. A couple of them. There was a few football guys that played tennis, yeah. too. Ed Gathers was... Ed Gathers. Ed Gathers was the reason why we lost a lot, Mr. Ely. <laughs> <laughs> so you t- paired me up with him. That was the problem. <laughs> um, yeah, but baseball was... Baseball was, like, a huge part of my childhood. Mm. Like, playing baseball... I mean, it's something about that game that just like it. It's it's good fundamentally for you as a kid. I think like right, right. Um, but it's not like it's not like the best team sport. It's just kind of like an individual mm-hmm. thing, you mm-hmm. know. Because when I came to the United States in 1995, was was football? I don't remember because I wasn't paying attention to it. Was football big as it is now? Then yeah, 
Football's it was, always been it big. was, but I don't I don't know if it was as big as it is now. Like yeah, right, right now, football is by far the biggest sport. Right? Baseball used to be yeah. I huge. think baseball, baseball was bigger, was bigger yeah, yeah. Back and then. the NBA yeah. too. Yeah, well, no, no, the NBA has been slowly climbing too, and I think the NBA has surpassed <clears throat> baseball yeah. and hockey now. If ba- baseball was bigger, but it was like. Yeah. Football's right here. Right. right. And, and, and they our, were all they were all closer. I think yeah. NHL was up there too. Um, yeah. I, I used to be into hockey too as a kid. I remember like I followed the Flyers really closely. And um mm-hmm. I got Eric Lindros's and Bobby Clark's signature on my I had a Flyer starter jacket and I got both their autographs on it one time. My dad took us to some uh, event that uh they were at. It was like the, the Dovells were playing at some event that the, all the Flyers alumni were at, and I got both of them to sign my, my starter jacket, and then my mom washed it one time. <laughs> yeah. So I still have it, but the autographs are a little faded. Yeah. I was super mad about that. So yeah. you trace that right on over? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't do that. You ruined it. Miss um, Haley said he's just teasing you. <laughs> it's all good. He yeah. said I was good at baseball. I was good at baseball. I was on the all-star team every year. Yeah, yeah. One... one um, a couple championships. I wish Junior was on here. Junior was on here at first. I know he would be talking trash because yeah. him and Junior used to have the biggest comp- home run competition. Yeah, and we used I- to keep stats of who hit home runs and how many hits everybody had. Right. Like all summer long, we would keep stats yeah. of who was doing the best. And him and Junior had this home run competition going back and forth. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so we uh, we did, we we played on uh, what was it Little League and. We got you guys. So we it was only me and him in our age group. They used to have a home run derby at the you know the intramural. You know when you're a kid, you play for the towns or whatever. Mm, right. So we were all ne- we were never on the same team as Junior for some reason. But the one year, um, Jake and him were the only one in their age bracket from to, in the home run derby. So they were literally head head. They had to go head to no, head. No, they act, no. They put us in the twelve year olds because they just put us together with the twelve year olds. Oh, because you so were. So I ended two. up winning. Yeah, yeah. Out of all the, right. so that was like my thing against him and yeah. for so long, and he hated he it. Always held that over him. <laughs> he had the trophy for it too. Home yeah. run derby champion. Yeah. <laughs> like, where's your trophy, Junior? Yeah, we never we never got trophies if you didn't win when we were kids. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, it's a different time. Yeah. Yeah. Like that was not a thing. No, your yeah. kids are playing sports. Sports, right? Yeah, right. soccer and, right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, not baseball. You're not thinking about putting them in baseball at all. I asked him. He wants to play. He wants to play soccer. Okay, again. like soccer in the spring. I was watching um, Barcelona. That's yeah. why I got the shirt on actually, because Barcelona just got a new coach and they look way better now. No, uh, um, Javi, right? No, no, they didn't get him. Oh, they didn't get him. No, no. This guy, you wouldn't know. Okay, um, but he he plays <laughs> like. You know he won't know. He knows I won't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but but his style is is like like he loves Johan Cruyff, nah. which is like the guy who started. He's the, the Dutch, Barcelona style. He, he started it like okay. back in the eighties, and that's where Guardiola played under him. And he okay. he really brought Guardiola was the one who brought that to right. you know, popularity. Oh. <laughs> you don't know Guardiola. No. Guardiola is he was a coach from like 2009 for Barcelona till I think 2012. But that was like the best era of Barcelona. Right. Yeah, that's when they were just dominating everything. Yeah. You probably know his face. But um yeah, so they look a lot better now. But it was funny cuz Jakey was watching with me. He was like, yeah. I want to play for Barcelona. Uh, <laughs> I yeah. was cracking up. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's going to take... He's going to have to sleep with that soccer ball every day. No, but that's what I said. Yeah. Like, no, you don't. You ain't you ready for that. You don't yeah. Because it's a lot of work. Like, yeah, you got to move there. Yeah. You know, like, they take it serious. Right. Because Leslie was there. She's like, oh, you do? And like, then I started explaining it. She's like, yeah. no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We don't have... We don't... We don't do that with our sports in this country. Like, yeah. In some places they do. Like they groom them from an early, early age and like bring bring them up. But the way they do it there and like in Brazil, mm-hmm. like, you know, from yeah, yeah, the yeah. time you're two, three years old, they're like scooping you up and putting yeah, you in these yeah. clubs. You're in a club. Yeah. Well, it's here too, but maybe not to that level. Because you got yeah. like the little leagues and you got like... I yeah. Think, I think here they're they're more into making money. I mean, yeah. just just from Jaden, you know, experiencing it from Jaden, like especially mm-hmm. the soccer, even the basketball. 
Yeah. Like, you got to pay so much, man. Like, just to get into yeah. a good club, it's right. a couple thousand dollars. Yeah. Right. Well, I think over there, right, like, being a professional athlete, like, that's a kid's meal ticket out of it. Yeah. Here, they don't, I feel like a lot of parents don't want their kids to feel left out. Right. They know their kid's not going to make it, but it's like. Except in the hood, then it's also a ticket out of there. Right. Yeah. But I'm saying, but most of the, in the suburbia, most of the parents there, they don't want their kids to really be a yeah. professional. You know? A lot of that is just about keeping them active, keeping yeah. them in activities. You know, yeah. All, yeah. The, all the girls are in dance and ballet. And right, right. Parents are just copying one another. Right, you know? right. Well, no, nah, it gets really competitive. Like, Yeah, I know it does. But it's the, the problem with America with soccer is the program is the way they do it. It's about money. Are you good? And it, so you're not you're gonna weed out a lot of the poor kids that right. have talent because they can't afford. I it. I say that all the time. If t- if soccer had more appeal in the urban and the, the hood neighborhoods, mm. they would have such a better soccer system. Bec- no, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. It's true. <laughs> Jamie shows up with a bunch of soccer balls. <laughs> Yo, but it's true. It is. Like, where do all, most of our best athletes come we would, from? But isn't that what we were just saying earlier about? The difference between a great athlete and their kids. Yeah. Like, the, the kids won't... Like, a professional athlete who's, like, reached the pinnacle of success, mm-hmm. his kid comes along or her kid, and they're never as good as their dad. Rarely. Right. Because they don't have the passion. They don't have that drive. That the drive. Yeah. yeah. It's a different thing. But you know. but I think for those kids... Because I know for us growing up, like, we were, we were good at soccer in the intramural level. We were always mm-hmm. on the all-star team. We were always... The like, pretty much. A, Come back into the shot, James. Oh, sorry. We were all we were all pretty much like, at the top of our team every every year. Mm-hmm. But when the travel teams would come approach my mom, like you know they could they could be moved to the next level. She couldn't afford it. You know what I right, mean? Right, she couldn't right. afford to travel with us. She couldn't afford to to pay the money to get us on these teams. So it right. was like we were just never gonna. You know, unless we went to, mm-hmm. you know, the right school and got scouted mm-hmm. by, which Jake was, Jake was on that path when we were going to, um, it was Edgewood at the time, now it's Winslow, but we were on, Jake was a sophomore already getting scouted. Mm-hmm. And yeah. um, then when we moved to Williamstown, all that changed, <laughs> you yeah. know. And that's exactly what I was saying before. It costs money. Yeah. If you want your kids, like, you can play town soccer, you know, but if you want to jump to the next level, you need some money. And then time to take your kids to these practices and yeah. take them to whatever town. You know right. what I mean? Right. And that's why the there's like a cutoff. And that's why the there I think that's why it's harder for the neighborhoods that don't really pay uh, attention yeah. to soccer. Yeah. You know. And not only that, that's why like US doesn't kill it in soccer. Like, right. Like we should. We have right. the money, but it's And just, we have the athletes. Yeah. We have the best athletes in the world. But it but it's a system. And the US is huge. Yeah. Yeah, but the system's messed up. Yeah. So, like anywhere else, like just say Barcelona. Yeah, they're scouting kids all over the world. The world. Yeah, and yeah. like the best player in the world, Lionel Messi, came from Argentina, right? Right, mm-hmm. and he was in a club in Argentina. Right, and that's how they. So they got clubs from a young age. You know, like when you play, you play for a club. Right, and they kind of do that here, but it's a little different. Like they're trying to catch up, but yeah. it's like so far off. But. Yeah, so they go and they already know the clubs that they right. want to go to. Be- so ma- ma- imagine if, like, for example, uh, the the Philadelphia, what is it, the Union? I don't even know. Union, yeah, right? Union. So imagine the Union is, like, scouting someone in, you know, Venezuela, for example, mm-hmm. and they find this kid who's, like, amazing, and they bring him into the, and they groom him in the, the, the Union club. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Or they're going into the cities in, like, you know, Chicago and finding, like, this raw talent that they yeah. can bring in and, and tell yeah. the family, like, look, you guys are going to be good. If we could pay you, we're going to take your son and we're going to bring bring him into the club. You know, like, that's what these other countries, countries are, are doing. Yeah. yeah. And there are some programs, like, I know there was a program in Trenton where they were getting kids, inner city kids into soccer. And these guys were like, they knew the game. You know yeah. I mean? And some of those kids got scouted by Manchester United. And right. Like the other countries couple. took them. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. No, bro. They're they're not, to New they're Jersey. Not playing for MLS. No, no, no. But they're but what I'm saying is that they're gonna be on the US on the team. US the, right. Yeah. And there's yeah. some kids that are coming up now, like seventeen, yeah. Sixteen. There's and a few I, kids I, around. I actually attribute FIFA to exposing a lot of kids to soccer that wouldn't oh, play yeah, before. Yeah. Like yeah, that game, people people actually play that game and then want to play soccer. 
Yeah. It's, it's weird. It's interesting. I, for me, I can say like my experience with football and my yeah, experience with hockey to too. My, my love for hockey started with playing NHL 93, I think yeah. it was. Like yeah. the EA Sports, like when EA Sports first came out, they had the NHL games. They had the football. Uh, my first football game I ever bought was, was NFL Quarterback Club. And um, I remember me and the same thing. Me and Junior used to have this rivalry with that game. Before the Madden rivalry, it was <laughs> NFL Quarterback Club. And um, the reason why I got that game is because one year I watched the uh, – well, I used to watch football. But one year I watched the um, – you know what used to do, the quarterback challenge? Remember mm-hmm. that? Mm-mm. You don't remember the quarterback what, the, the challenge? NFL yeah. quarterback challenge? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you were talking about the game. No, but the game was... Sur- was yeah, they was, had the quarterback The game was about it. the quarterback challenge. Oh, okay. So that's why it was called Quarterback Club, because you were building up a quarterback. You could you could, you could could play with a quarterback on the team, or you could start your own quarterback and build them up. That was when Dan Marino was like... Dan Marino <laughs> was the, the man yeah. on that game. Yeah. But um, Randall Cun- I used to play with Randall Cunningham all the time. And um, do the quarterback challenge, and I got really good at it. And then, like me and Junior used to go back and forth. And then, through that game, because the only exposure I really had to the technical side of football before that was playing Tecmo Bowl, <laughs> and you Which know is, how how basic that yeah. was. It was like run left, <laughs> run right, yeah. throw far, throw short. It's like you could drop back like yeah, 100 you yards. could drop <laughs> and then run all the way through. Um, um, see if you can find a clip on t- about with Tecmo Bowl in it because that <laughs> is hut, that hut, is hut, do you know what Tecmo hut. Bowl is? No. Okay, this wow. is, we got to show <laughs> James. But that's that's kind of like Madden too. Like Madden. Yeah. No, Madden. Madden is the game that really, really yeah. schooled me on football mm-hmm. and learning yeah. what the game really was. They the had rules they, to the game. Yeah, Madden had defenses that you can switch and then you can audible plays and stuff. So you're really learning the game. Hey, yeah. Coach Chili, thank you very much. She said, uh, good podcast, very enjoyable. And we're glad you like it. Hopefully you can share it and tell other people to watch it too. Coach Chili, you're just enjoying it right now because we're talking about sports. <laughs> <laughs> so you're but, telling me I need to get in somebody's old attic and get a whole bunch of Madden yeah, and yeah. quarterback. Yo, if you, if you played Madden, I, you yeah. would understand football better. Yeah, yeah. You I'm would. telling you, like you yeah. would, you would get it. Um, cause yeah, but that's the same thing with soccer. It's mm-hmm. the same thing with soccer. But yeah. but Tech Mobile <laughs> was the first like f- like football game that blew up on Nintendo. Mm-hmm. They had other ones that weren't that great. Mm-hmm. But I remember NHL hockey. I had NHL hockey. I had Tech Mobile. Those were the games that kind of like got me into those sports. And then as games, you think got about better, like NHL hockey. Like, dude, we used to. We bought hockey sticks. We went outside. We bought roller we got blades. Rollerblades. We yeah, st- look, this is Tecmo Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> look at Jeez. this. Look at this. You good, are you gonna learn? You gonna learn defenses? Look, on and that? remember, you just zigzag back and forth so yep. no one can catch you. You'd be like, oh, <laughs> nope, can't get me. Nope. Uh, see, that person sucked. They should have never got caught. <laughs> yeah, but, even but look, with those that, are the plays. Look, yeah, see the play: some... run one, run two, yeah. pass one, pass two. You don't know anything from football, football from that. You know, what I mean? <laughs> you just think, oh, run pass. Like literally, that's what you think. That's and like, yeah. I remember I, when I was a kid watching football, I used to be like, why did the running back just run into the pile of players? Like, why don't he just run around them? Like, you because right. yeah. I had right. no understanding of right. the game. Right. You didn't understand they were supposed to block. Yeah, uh, but you know. I, I liked sports, mm-hmm. so I would play it and I would watch it, and then yeah. like. So that was more you guys more more into team because I went I I immediately started liking boxing and wrestling. Yeah, I didn't like team sports. Right. So I don't know. It's like because you grew up playing it. Like is. I liked all sports, man. Like yeah. to be honest with you, I think it was just yeah, growing up playing sports put that competitive nature in you to want right. and plus growing Being up a in a neighborhood where yeah, yeah, yeah. there was okay. other kids your age where all like what what would we do if we were bored we would yeah. just start right, playing right, sports right. Yeah. you know yeah and that's every time like right. we just get knock on doors yeah, yeah. what are we going to do let's yeah. play something you know right. when we i remember every morning waiting for the bus like a football game in the mm-hmm. street right, it, was, right. it was like while the bus was about to right. come we and it does help yeah. with character development cuz yeah. you're you're, you're you're learning how to socialize, and, and it's a weird like hierarchy. Like, well, you, it's gonna you're gonna yeah, see it quickly. Yeah, you know, it sports starts, sports reveal. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. it, it's it, you're gonna you're gonna see who's athletic quickly, who's not athletic. You know what I mean? Right. Just, but but also you get like people like we were the guys that like, come on guys, let's go. You had, like, to, or, we you would, had to have the organizers. Yeah, yeah, we would like see the new kid and knock on their door, not afraid to you know go get them and, right. and pull them in. in, and then our games would just grow and get yeah. bigger. Right. I yeah. get excited, man, when I have a ball in my hand. 
we know. Like, I really do. <laughs> <laughs> even that, like... If even even at the wrong time, if there's like a ball laying, like the one time we did the show, um, where were we at the the Falcons? Um, no, the Haw- the Hawks um, arena. Oh, uh, I forgot. What yeah, the place but anyway, called. so they have us in the locker rooms, and there's a ball in there, and of course, you this guy it. just can't like not let the ball. He can't not touch the ball, so it's like he grabs the ball and starts throwing around the locker. Hey, room. I remember he he was getting into it, and too. then I gotta say something like, "Yo." Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Wells said drop, uh, double dribble, which was another Oh, double, double dribble. dribble. I do. Double yeah. dribble. Yeah. That was that, a good, that was a good was, game. What was the other basketball one? Jam? Uh, NBA Jam? NBA that was Jams. after. That was yeah. like Super Nintendo. He's getting hot. <laughs> yeah, he's on fire. Yeah, he's on fire. Right. You don't know nothing about none of no, these I games. Didn't, I didn't wow. Have, <laughs> nope. Nope. Yeah. Um, I think that's probably why, like, for me, like, I gravitated towards boxing and combat sports because I could relate to that without knowing. I know what's happening. Yeah, you don't need to know all the rules. I don't need to know the rules. And to me, like I said, I I didn't grow up here. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't like, who's going to break that down for me? My cousins? No. My dad? No. So I I, I did like sports, but fighting and combat was the easiest thing to understand. Right. You know? And I I think that's um, a lot about... Remember we were talking... I think it was yesterday we were talking about like tastes and things and yeah, how like yeah, yeah. it's totally subjective. Of course. Like, people like yeah, to yeah. argue over right. what's better. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? But it's like like what? Like food, for example. Yeah. Like yeah. what's the best food? Yeah. Oh yeah. What's the best food? Like yeah. how can you make that argument? It's totally subjective. Yeah, there yeah, is yeah. no is. that's true. There is no objective how overall much salt like, you like yeah. on something. Yeah. Right. There yeah. is right. no like Standard of yeah, you know I, when I ask like I gotta know who I'm asking right because you know I mean? like, it's gotta be someone that has the same taste as you. Right. Right, it's just right, like saying right. what's your favorite color? Like there is no objective yeah. favorite yeah. color. Yeah. It's yeah. just yeah. Yeah. to you you like that color. You right. know what I mean? Right. Like and it's always attached to something because you right. grew up that way or something that's connected. to Why something. do you think people do that though? Because you're trusting someone that you don't know. <laughs> You know what I mean? Dude, you, the, there's billion dollar businesses around that. That's Yelp, what I'm saying, though. Yeah, yeah. Yelp. Yelp and reviews and ratings yeah. and dude, I don't yeah. know. People people love confirmation. Yeah. Right. So yeah. they don't want to go into something blind. People hate being disappointed. Yo, you know? and when we travel <laughs> and we use Yelp, I always. What area am I? In? Right. Because I know, like, and not I gotta know the, the culture. <laughs> right, right, right. Because I know that if it's a really white area it's white. gonna be a, like <laughs> it's like you said about the sh- they went to well, they went to the hot on the spot place which is the trinidadian yeah, place right. in um hamilton new jersey uh-huh. and he went is with she his watching wife. <laughs> i don't even think she's watching <laughs> i don't think she's watching but i'll let you tell it because he went with his wife and she she went on yelp to find out what she was going right <laughs> yeah i hope she's watching so we went there we went to a trinidadian place to um to get um food and while we were there, I ordered my food, and she orders, and you guys have had Trinidadian food, so, you, this, so she orders roti with spinach and pumpkin, which don't go together. Those <laughs> things don't go together. She gets it, and it's instant regret. So yeah. she starts telling me about it, and I look at her, and she, then she gets mad at me. She's like, why didn't you tell me this? I was like, <laughs> you, you didn't ask me. You asked I'm the people from like, tr- <laughs> <laughs> ain't from that Trinidad. funny? But that's so hilarious to me. It's like, she's got... The perfect reference yeah. sitting next to her, <laughs> but she'd rather go to the random person that went there. Yeah, right. Like you don't know what this Dude, person likes. Every time people are like, um, like, what's a good uh Puerto Rican spot to eat at? Because I'm gonna be around Camden. Yeah. None. Yeah. <laughs> they always look at me like, huh? Right. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, I'm like, right. I'm telling you the truth. Like right. it's such a hard thing when people ask for your suggestion because it's always like, well, I got to first, I got to know what you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. I and can't that's what just I kinda say, say what I like. That's true. You know, that's true. Because some people are like, oh, I like this place. I'm like, okay, that was horrible. So you might like this place. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, right, right. Right, right. I wouldn't like it, but you might like it. Right? Yeah. It's like, but again, it's all subjective. Yeah. It's like saying, but you, if you look, you go on Yelp and you look up like Spanish spots. Like Freddy's is like number one probably, mm-hmm. and it's not good. You know right. what I mean? So you don't, but yeah. you got to know the area, and that's like yeah. any. And you got to be travel, familiar with the food too, right? Right. Yeah. right. And anytime we travel, I'm always like, okay, what type of area are we in? Because you're gonna know, like, mm-hmm. you know, if we're in a really black area, then it's gonna be 
a different style for mm-hmm. another really white or whatever. It's just like Spanish a Trinidad. They say like, it all the time. Like if you're if we're going to get roti and like curry chicken, it's like, all right, well who's making it? Are they black? Are they Indian? Right, because right, it's right. going to be two different things. Right, right. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like right. there, you, you got to know what you're walking into. This, yeah. is, this is where prejudice benefits you. <laughs> right. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, and you got to. But be it's a, not it's prejudice. Fu- but it, no, it's, it's just it's it's, it's, it's just, just taste. No, no, no. It's, no. it's um, it, it's acknowledging the differences that yeah, we have, that we yeah. do and have. Like right. right? Right. Like you yeah. know, if <laughs> that's what Shanique was watching. Now. <laughs> she's now watching. Now she heard her ears perked up. Um. Yeah. But it's 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 all it's all subjective, it's, right? So, but so that's what we were talking about because you, people get into that a lot, and I see it, and I'm like, you really can't. Like I know you being Cambodian and your mom and and anybody they're gonna say Cambodian food is the best food on the planet. Right. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. And Puerto Ricans say Puerto Rican food is the best food on the planet. Black people say soul food is the best food on the planet. You know, I'm sure Rachel knows the Italian people that will say, "Oh, there's nothing like Italian food." You know what I mean? Because that's what you. It's more connected to what you grew up with and what you're used to, and your mm-hmm. taste buds and how they develop as you grow up. There's yeah. not with everybody, but for the majority. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Some of us yeah. try other things and mm-hmm. expand beyond, beyond that, and we grow more mm-hmm. um, developed palates. Right, yeah. right, right. But you and know. it's no if you. The thing is, you can't know what. That person who wrote the review, you don't know. Like I know you guys. Right. If I ask you, if I say to you, "Hey, Jamie, what do you think of this place?" I'm getting an honest because I know your taste. You know right? my taste. Mm-hmm. Right. So when you when you fling your when you ask when you ask the world to answer this question, you're gonna get whatever comes back to you. Right. You know. Yeah. Right. That's the thing. Like with when we if we're gonna go somewhere new. My wife always says, "Did Jamie go? There yet? <laughs> <laughs> Did Jamie and Liz go there yet?" <laughs> Moan always hits me up too, like, "Yo, yeah. well, what's this place like?" And if I get, tell him, "Yeah, he knows it's yeah. good," mm-hmm. because we have, but it's because we have similar tastes. Right. If it was someone else, they might yeah, not yeah, yeah. agree with me. You know, like <laughs> Dave wouldn't take. Well, my I, I, I feel. I feel like the thing is, there should be a disclaimer with writing a review. If you're gonna write a review, you have to be a person who is willing to try or willing to try. Almost anything, right? If you're like, if you're a person who like this is your palate, <laughs> you're like right here. Like right. I only eat this. Yeah. Then you can't really give reviews on everything else because you don't. You you only limited to this right here. But, you, right. Know I mean? you know what? It only works if you have a large scale of people. Like when you go to New York, Yelp is amazing. Right. Mm-hmm. But if you're like in a little small town, Yelp ain't gonna. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, that's right. true. It's not gonna be your best friend. Yeah. Right. And I've noticed that you gotta go look at the chicken yourself. And yeah. you you it can't good. you gotta like sometimes you gotta read the review fully and see where mm-hmm. someone's head is at because yeah. if they're like oh the food was good but my waiter didn't come for five minutes and yeah. like if the review is all about like some shit that just annoyed them right. then it's like all right, yeah. I right. and a lot of people do that yeah too. yeah and they'll right. give one star because you know yep. they didn't like the color of the chairs you know what I'm saying yep. it's like you gotta you gotta That's read true. that stuff. yeah certain people are like okay. Four on the decor, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. service, yeah. Yeah. Right. one. Like, it's like they just want right. to be in their moment of I get to grade some shit. Right. Like, right. Right. They like, get to be judges on American Idol for a day. Right. It's like, yeah. I'm always like, yo, as long as they're going to serve me, like as long as the service ain't horrible, I'm right. good. You right. know, right. and the food's good. We're it good. has gotten better though, like compared to the '90s to now, because in the '90s it was all about chain restaurants. It was all about like big commercial. Mm-hmm. You know, I think, and now. I, you know, they're I think, all closing down. Right, people are more interested in authentic cuisine. They want home style food. They right. want, you know, what I mean, they want fresh. They want, right, you know, it gets a little over the top sometimes. With like the oh, we turned this abandoned metal shop factory into yeah, a, yeah, yeah. a yeah. restaurant. It's gimmicky, <laughs> and it's then gimmicky. all of our plates are the old sheet. You know metal what that is? <laughs> you know what that is? That is the equivalent to the Applebee's. Uh, uh, the Fridays, yes, Fridays, Fridays yeah. with the um, right badges. Whatever. Well, yeah. Was that movie Office Space? Office Space. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. You ever see that that scene from Office Space? Yeah, mm. where she Jennifer Aniston keeps getting in trouble for the amount of buttons she has on. Yes, it's, it's oh, completely yeah, making yeah, fun yeah. of Fridays. Yeah, yeah. But you would go in there. And you would find like boats and a shoe yeah, right. and like a sled, and it was like, "What are they doing? Like, what's going on here?" Just, someone did some analytics where it was like, "This is all festive and people love it." You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. Oh, me- "There's a boat. There's a shoe." Yeah, yeah. right. Exactly. It was like the food sucks. James is going in there like, "I don't, I don't get, it. get it." But you, yo, you know what's funny? Um, this is going to sound a little bit like I was smoking weed, but I wasn't. I was thinking the other day 
about how after we had this conversation, I was thinking about how like because I was I started thinking about like how taste in music and sports is all subjective as well. It's all mm. tied to what you grew up with. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And um I was thinking like how funny it is that like taste in music almost like parallel taste in food. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and how like people who like shitty, like cheap quick made music that's like mass produced love like chicken nuggets and fries and shit <laughs> like it's the same demographic yeah. but people like in the south that like like country music and songs with substance like their food is like slow made and like yeah, like yeah. barbecue like right. really like they right. care about the process and where it came from it's right. like when you think about like you know funk music is soul food it's got them grits yeah. in it that that, that yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? like it's like it's a weird thing it's a blending yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah i got you wow. yeah it makes sense it sounds like so you're saying, that sounds like so some high that, talk, right? That does sound like so some high talk. So you're saying like all the Euro uh, trash techno houses are pills. <laughs> drugs, <laughs> drugs and more drugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Give me the pills. Right, right. Mixed with some alcohol and energy right. drinks and like, look, I'm, I, I'm not, I'm, no. I'm on to something here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, it's true. I mean, it's shitty country, it is subjective. country music. Yeah, so and what? those people like chicken nuggets. Yeah. <laughs> I'm one of, who listens to Taylor Swift? Chicken nugget people. <laughs> Am I lying? Yeah. No, I'm right. I don't know. Yeah, it's it, it is no? subjective. I don't know. Yo, he's talking about the people that go to Applebee's to get the two for twenty. That's app that's Taylor Swift fans <laughs> right there. I'm telling you. <laughs> they want the chicken fingers with right. fries and right. the, you know what I mean? This is really really scientific. <laughs> it has gotten better though. It has gotten better. Yeah, science to prove it. I think people have people are more Open now, and I think it's because also to television, like you know the shows, internet, that, you know, internet, YouTube. Yelp has helped some of that too. Yeah, so that's the good yeah, side yeah, about yeah, yeah. like Yelp. Yelp exposes people to places they might not normally see. Mm-hmm. You know, if you get, even though a lot of that shit is all fake because it's bought. You know, mm-hmm. ratings and stuff like that. Right, right. And people right. pay for like click farms and and fake reviews. There's right. people that sit there and write reviews all right. day to get yeah. paid to do that. And I think the good thing about companies like Yelp is actually it forces the restaurant to actually get better. Right. Because mm-hmm. they're afraid of you know what I mean the bad reviews. Bad reviews. Yeah. yeah. So it, I think they step it up. But then it, it also know? it also gives people this like sense the of the god complex. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> nothing will do. No, I know. But I know. Um, speaking of that, like. Ratatouille as a movie. First of all, we were talking about I how just dumb, watched how that. dumb that is yeah. about rats. Like, yeah. <laughs> but think about what sells this guy who hated this restaurant. Yeah, Th- this dude who's like so smug yeah. and like doesn't like anything. What sells him on it? It wasn't about the taste. It was it well, was, it was the taste, but it wasn't about how well it was cooked and flavored. He it grew was, up with it. It his sent mom, him yeah. back to his childhood, right. yeah. Yeah. and that's what gave him the experience of it's like I, yeah. And that's what food does for people. It's not yeah. really it about sent him back so much he overlooked the fact that a, a rat, rat, was, <laughs> a rat was cooked cooking it. his shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this Ew. sounds like you guys are smoking some weed. <laughs> you know? So you don't you don't you don't need weed to think about things, man. Just gotta stop. Turn off your phone for a little bit. Yep. You know what I mean? Stop uh doing all the dumb stuff and you can have some real thoughts about how chicken nugget people like Taylor Swift. <laughs> but you're right though. I think it is subjective. Sports, music, movies, it is subjective. Because I remember for a long time people would say to me, You don't like football? Yeah. But they never bothered to ask me like I didn't grow up with that. Right. I was 14 years of my life. I had yeah. no idea this thing even existed. Exactly. They just thought I was like one of those guys like, man, football's violent. I don't yeah. like it. Yeah. They just think, you know, but I was like, I don't even know what that is. Not football's knowing that he violent. Likes, he likes the most like violent MMA. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. they, they immediately assumed that, well, you don't like it because yeah. whatever. You know what I mean? Because, like, it, because in America, it's like if you don't like football, there's something wrong with you. Like, Dude, us growing up playing soccer, we used to get made fun of all the time, mm-hmm. especially by the football guys. Like, right. Yeah. They would call in you our neighborhood fairies was like and soft. No and, soccer players in our neighborhood. Yeah. Right. Especially being like people of color. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? We got made you don't fun do of. do that. Yeah. Right. We were supposed to be on the basketball team, track team, and football team. That's what right, you do. Right, right. If you're... <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what that's the other thing about what sports sports will do to kids is that you're you're at that age, you're sorting out Economics, race, culture, all yeah. of that, right? The, and Hierarchy, sport, right? And sports um, highlights those things. It does. You know what I mean? And because you're gonna fix, a, you're gonna figure out what social group you belong to, mm-hmm. and sports is gonna amplify that, right? You know what I mean? Right. Like you said, with like with the money, 
only a certain amount of kids. If you weren't, if you were playing soccer this year, and next year you ain't playing, you don't got no money. Right. Mm-hmm. So you're not, you don't belong to our socioeconomic group. You know what I mean? And then you said there's you added, a reason why only rich kids play lacrosse. Right. Right. And then you add you in, the, the, like you said, the racial element, which is you 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 you're black kid yeah. playing soccer, playing a white white sport. Right. Yeah. Which yeah. is a fun game. I remember liking it when we played in gym. Dude, I love playing soccer. No, lacrosse. Oh, lacrosse. Yeah. Lacrosse is fun. Dude, any sport is fun. Yeah. yeah. If you really get yeah, into yeah, it yeah, and yeah. play it, like we play volleyball, we go crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's any sport is fun. You can't discount any sport. Right. You love know, volleyball. I think people that do Except that like, are people that suck at it. They just they right. you know, like yeah. yeah, I would even play uh what were we just talking about? It's like baseball. I can't cricket. Cricket. Yeah. I would try it. I would play it if yeah. I could get into it and figure it out. I would try it. But if it's too boring, like I know Jamie. Play. Jamie would come with all the rules. <laughs> nah, man. That's right. <laughs> I'm about. I'm about the rules, man. You gotta know the rules because I hate when people be in there just making up rules, making stuff. But I tell you, what, like even for like Moan and Stan when they started playing soccer with us, yeah, because they were football guys, yeah, yeah, growing up, yeah. and and they were right there with their buddies. Oh, soccer fairies, blah blah blah. <laughs> you know, but. Once you play it, yeah, you have yeah. to respect it. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. they couldn't get out there and dominate. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. No matter how much push ups they could do. You right. know what I mean? It's a different thing. It's that's probably that's another good point too. I think that that's what it is, is that you can make fun of something until you do it. Right. Because you could be in sh- football shape, mm-hmm. but you're not soccer yeah, shape. Exactly. You could yeah. be soccer it, shape, but you ain't in football shape. Right, right. They're different things. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Because yeah. you've you're basically building up muscle memory. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's like a sprinter mm-hmm. trying to do you know, like long distance, long distance, even yeah. within the same sport, it's yeah. like a wide receiver trying to be a quarterback. It's, right. it's, do it. it's not as simple as that. When yeah. you train one way, yeah, yeah, you know, you're you're athletic, respective to that particular right. thing. You know what I mean? The other thing about sports that I think can be a good thing, but some people take it too far. The soccer teams do this. It's the hazing thing. Like I've heard some. Oh people, yeah, that that that's probably that that probably for me was the worst thing about sports was when I tried to wrestle. When I was starting to wrestle, and the stuff that the guys would get into, yeah, they get they get a little crazy. With yeah, it. yeah. Because I think there's no one there's no one checking it, and there's no one giving direction to it. Because the hazing thing is essentially a good thing. It's a way to if they see who's weak in the bunch, and yeah, bring they them can kind of like yeah, yeah, you yeah. know we're gonna get on you until you. Get your yeah. shit together or mm-hmm. quit. Or, you know yeah. what I mean? You're not going to bring the whole team down, though. It's like what they do in the military. You right, know what right. I mean? But and it happens in nature too. If yeah. there's a puppy that won't eat, yeah, you know they or whatever it is, right. you, you see you it happen. It out yeah. or yeah, yeah. And and I mean it's something. It's something. It's a well, something that God does, right? right? Yeah, right. you you go through stuff, right. right? It's 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 something like it's like a test to see if you can endure, right? Through those times, and then come out better at the in the end, and come out stronger. At the, I mean, the whole book of Job is like a big hazing ritual. Right. You know what I mean? So Isn't God legs hazing? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> in a way. You know, I know what you mean. You know I know what, what you mean? mean. It does help. It yeah. does. It, it, it does. But it's it's, it's just a, shocking when you first see it. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Especially in the way that they do it. Yeah, and it's again, it's about who's doing it, and yeah. Their judgment in doing it. Right, right, right. That's if the it's, problem. You, like on the soccer team, it was like, oh, we got to give you a wedgie as your, you know, it's like, yeah, what, what is the purpose? I, of listen, that? With, with boys at that age, everything seems to be very like homosexual driven. Right. You know, right. it's like, why do you want to do that? <laughs> You know what I mean? You're everything with is the butt. Everything involves yeah, <laughs> or, or nudity. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. ew. Because I remember they were getting a little too extra with you. Yeah, and I had to like say something. Like, yeah, hey, what are you? What's wrong? Like, well, he's not. Because you were kind of like I was like not, not for it. that. Yeah. No Mm-mm. soccer yeah. team doing that. Yeah, yeah, and they were. But they do it in football too. They're like talking they to it. me. Like, they do it in band. They do it in everything. They yeah. didn't get me. I don't. I don't remember. Yeah. I think it's just human beings test each other to see who's the weakest link. And they kind of want to see and once how have, much they can get away once with. Once you have one idiot that becomes the alpha of the bunch, he implements this dumb shit that just gets passed right. down. You know what yeah, I mean? Right. It's like, they tomorrow, it in, uh, I'm going to do this. Yeah. Fraternities, too. Yeah, oh, fraternities yeah, yeah, are the worst. Yeah. Well, it starts out in sports, and then it escalates from there, right? They go overboard. <laughs> John John said smack ass. Yeah, he, he said um, they did some hazing in cross country, too. Mm. It was kind of like... You know, mm-hmm. weird smack ass, perverted stuff. And once again, ass. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <it's false> ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but 
boy, Americans just love it. But that would be something that, like, if you're ne- if you've never seen that, it would turn you off. Like. Oh yeah, I mean that was, you know, number one, I was I was the only boy with three sisters, so I was taught don't take it easy, right? Pull back. Why are you being so rough? You know what I mean? Right. And then, you know, coming here, manhood was something. Di- manhood in Trinidad was not measured by sports. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It was it was measured by. Can you hunt? Can you fish? Can you build something? Right. So when I got here, the measure of manhood was totally based on athleticism. It wasn't based on that. Yeah. So I was kind of confused. Like, it's like that in different parts of the country, yeah, yeah. too. Like, you showed a video like, of that little kid. That little kid, he had to be like seven or eight, and he's cooking He's cooking on a oh, block, yeah. right? Yep. Now, they're dudes who are 20 years old that can't do what that kid is. You're telling me he's more, because that kid could dunk a ball. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's all relative to where you are. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because so in, over here, you'll see a viral video of a kid breakdancing and it's like, yeah. Yeah. look how great he is. Right. It's like, this dude can feed his whole... <laughs> right. <laughs> now, I'm talking about like, you know, uh, where dad is from, where my dad is from, uh, they're into hunting. Yeah. So mm-hmm. kids are... Kids are doing starting that. at like you know seven. Right? Man, you know I was mean? and they're gutting deer. Yeah, and doing I, all that. I'm stuff telling you, themselves. I was, I was when I was eight years old. I was already hunting and gutting things and killing it and cooking yeah. it and you know with with supervision. But it didn't gross me out. I I I, yeah. I, un- I understood survival. Like my uncles taught me that. My dad, like I understood it. You know what I mean? Right. So when I got here. It was weird to see what masculinity was meant because you know. Well, I think it, uh, like to his point, it's about the, it's about the understanding of the environment that you live in. What becomes the proper tools to to instill into the children that you think are going to make them successful in the right, end, right? right? So in in your commu- in your environment, uh, it's needed. about it's about hunting. It's about learning your. It's about learning what leaves can kill you. It's yeah. about learning what's food, what's medicine. Right. It's about learning where the where the. Uh, <laughs> Larger bless <laughs> exactly. the Dwayne are gonna come get you, yeah. You know, what I mean? and wh- where your dad is from, it's the same thing. It's yeah, more yeah, about yeah. a hunting environment. Yeah. It's more about getting your own food. It's more about farming. That's it's true. more about, but in a city, in a town, in like a, a suburban environment, survival is based off of who in the hierarchy can move up and get the good job and get in the good school. Right, right, and right. So all of that just becomes like ways you you learn how to navigate your right, immediate right. surroundings right. i think mm-hmm. we don't do a good enough job of making Explain that more that, of yeah. a well-rounded thing because you know for you it could benefit you for the competitiveness of sports to be yeah, yeah, yeah. you know some of that to be ingrained and for people like us the the idea of nature right. and, and learning those skills mm-hmm. could benefit you so yeah, i right. think it's just we don't do a good job of making that balance happen yeah and it also it's a lot of pride yeah, you know what I mean. Like people look at something and this is what I know. learned, so I'm passing it on. Yeah, but mm-hmm. even the kids, like a kid at like eight, nine, they're good at something, and then they like put them oh, on the pedestal. Gonna, yeah, and that kid becomes so prideful right. until he comes out of that world and realizes. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah. though, but a kid is gonna if he's like, oh, this is getting me attention and shit. Yeah. They're gonna keep doing. Right, it. That's right, my right. point. But it's really the parents' fault because right. they're not like checking that. Right, you know what right, I mean? They're like right. just egging it right, on. Right. But you can do that with everything, mm. you know what right. I mean? Right. D- yeah. Depending on where you're at. And that right. happens a lot. And then you get these little... And then that pride, like, that's the thing that, like, when you get into those team things, like, and you have somebody who thinks they're Y'all the see shit. it, because y'all have done some coaching. Yeah. And you see those kids that come from those type of families, and you know that they don't give a shit about the team. Yeah. It's all about them mm-hmm. and what they can do, and they're going to show off. Yeah. Yeah. And then you got to deal with that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But... Even like on a higher level, like you got you get a couple of dudes that think that they know everything, and then you know they try to force their their hazing on somebody else. Right. And when that person isn't receptive to it, they're gonna go harder. Yep. You know, and then because they're gonna put you in your place now. Yeah. Yeah. But then if they still ain't like, right. then they feel like they got it. Like who's gonna <laughs> back down? That's type why of there, thing. wasn't there a couple of cases where people ended up like dying? Yeah. It was mm-hmm. like with fraternities. Yeah. 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 yeah, because it becomes like a lot of cases, a lot yeah. of yeah, where they go too far with the hazing. Yeah, because you think like this is our way. Yeah, like, is it really? Like, yeah, they're putting everything into this, right? You know? And then they take it too far because it just becomes like ritualistic, traditional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, 
with really no no understanding of what is the purpose of this. It's just yeah. this happened to me, so I'm going to do it worse to you. Uh, yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? That's what it is. I'm They're not thinking worse. things. Too. Yeah, yeah. It's not about what no. the end goal is. Like we're doing this to make you a, a vital part of our community. You know what right. I mean? Like yep. we're doing this to sh- to have you go through the the. That's what like apprenticeship is supposed to be, right? Mm-hmm. Or internship yeah. uh, originally was supposed to be like. We're gonna, I'm going to treat you like shit, but in a way where you're learning. You know what I mean? Right. So that you will surpass me one day and be greater than me because right. you had to go. You ha- I'm going to force you to learn the things that I stumbled on because I was too egotistical to realize that I sucked. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think like that's the problem. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna treat you like shit, but there's like a there's a measure in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? To know like. What do you do? You know, how do you, like, you have to know, you have to have the wisdom to know how do you lead somebody into something, right? you know? Um, and that's where you have the disconnects a lot of times because that continues, mm-hmm. you know? Think about, like, even with us, like, the music business and mm-hmm. how many people try to, like, come along and try to lead us yeah. into something. And it's right. like... Uh, th- or people, no parts of that. gatekeepers, like, if you will, that we've met through labels, A and Rs, right. that try to force you into a direction. Right, or and they like literally that. say, like, "Well, this is how it is. Like, yeah. everybody has to go through this. Right, you have to go through this, and right. then you're good, and right. then you can get in. But it, it's wrong. Right. You know what I mean? That's the thing that mm-hmm. is weird. Like, even and there is an element of paying your dues." That everyone has to right. understand, like there that there that is idea an element that you're of gonna, suffering, right? right. That yeah. idea that you're going to come in and be whisked into, you know, this fantasy of if that does happen to you, you better be careful because that shit's going to come crashing come down yeah. so yeah. hard, it's come back on you. So there is that, that element of like going through this the the fire, the hustle, the grind, and paying your dues, but it's in a way where you come out better in the end. It's not in a right. way where it's like you totally lose yourself, right? right. You know what I mean, right? And it, when you think that you can do it all, then you you that's foolish. Right. You know what I mean? And if somebody like doesn't if you don't allow somebody to come along and you allow them to lead you, you know, then and you realize that you need that person. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And you but you don't allow that, you're never gonna learn, really, you know, no matter how because even if you say, Okay, I'm gonna do all this stuff just so I can Right. Yet, you yeah. know, people who really know, they they see right through that. Mm-hmm. So they're going to go for the people that don't really know. Right. And they're going to stay in that place of selfishness and pride, mm-hmm. you know, and then they... But that, that's go. where I think, like, the, a coach really, like, if a coach was really a coach, he would see where that one kid who was the alpha, but he's an idiot... He's the, he's actually causing disruption, right? You know what I mean. But if yeah. you watch all of the like great movies about coaching or the stories about coaching, that's yeah. what they're good at. Yeah, they're good at finding the dude that thinks he's the best on the team and knocking them down a bunch of pegs. Yeah, but in real life, it don't work. In real <laughs> life, they love that guy. <laughs> right. In real life, they, the they, guy who he skates by on so many yes. things, they they push him through in school. He yeah. never gets in trouble. Doesn't have yeah. to pass any tests. Because I've seen mm-hmm. it. I've seen like yeah. where if that one kid he is really good at what they need him to do. Whatever he does, they're like, mm-hmm. right. That kids are gonna be kids, yeah. you know. Make what I mean? excuses, but, but that's the thing. Like, there was a movie I was watching. Was it the one with Samuel L. Jackson? I think. Or Coach Carter. Which, which which one? Yeah, Coach Carter. Coach Carter, right? Coach Carter. Yeah, yeah. He's like, Jimmy, what was I watching again? <laughs> I have to ask. Jimmy. So, there was one scene where uh, the kid was, you know. He, I think he was like the star player, mm-hmm. and he was acting up, and he kicked him off the team. And then the mom was like basically thanking him. Right. You know, and it was it was something where she was like, I'm happy that you did this because he needed that because nobody else would do it mm-hmm. type mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. And kind of what you were saying. Didn't yeah. you like, didn't you deal with that on your team this year though? There was a kid that you literally had to like put him in gold. Tell him like <laughs> You're yeah. not gonna play because you don't you you think you need to do everything. Yeah, and these are six and seven. Six and seven years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. But the parents right. again were like glad that you yeah, were. Yeah, then they they yeah. were you know thanking me. Because you see it. Every, every listen, if we're all honest, we all see within our children strengths and weaknesses. Mm-hmm. We do. And it's just that 
a lot of times parents' egos get in the way where we don't want somebody else pointing that out. Right. You yeah. know? But it's that's funny. the problem. Like, what I'm trying to say is that those people who are doing that and pushing them ahead, they're all selfish. Right. Because they're all just, you know, How's this using gonna make it me look? for right. their own right. gain for mm-hmm. the moment. What am I getting out of you this? Know? Right. Yeah. And if a parent isn't paying attention to that, right. like, you're doing your kid harm, yeah. you mm-hmm. know? But it's just, it's the same thing as if in the music business and, you know, us knowing that from having artists that come through here and seeing artists and knowing about executives and the ones that deal with artists and we see them all the time, when they have someone who is spiraling or they have someone who is just a train wreck or or is literally like on a path of destruction, if that person is making them money and is a big star... They just keep feeding that shit. Mm-hmm. And they're like, just get out there. You know, oh, what do you need? You need Coke? You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. you, need- you mean like R. Yeah. Kelly? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, for real. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you, yeah. need, you need girls? Yeah. What schools? 20 years there- later, they now tell Google. the truth. James, Google what schools are around here so we can find R. Kelly some chicks. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's yeah. what they'll do. Right. That's what they'll do. Yeah. And it, it's and like that scene from the Sasha Baron Cohen thing that got cut from the movie yeah. where, where he, you know, he tried to play that joke, you know? Mm-hmm. Right, right. Because um, but- they have a publicist to cover everything up. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's but like they talk about that. That's what happened. Not to cut you no, off, no, no. just to continue down that. That's they talk about that with Jimi Hendrix and with like a lot of these artists that died at early ages, where it's like their management was like yeah. full of weird. Oh no, they were feeding them shit so that they could get on stage. It's like mm-hmm. he's so done off of heroin that he can't get on stage, and they need to get this money. So they're like, all right, get him a whole bunch of coke yeah. and get him out there. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. then it's just about what it, what is it getting from? What is yeah, it doing yeah, for yeah. me? Yeah, and. So they're taking, you right. know, that's, and they look, and it's like the opposite. Like, I'm trying to help you. This right. is love. Right. Mm-hmm. But it's really not love, you know. It's really like, they're just trying to take from whatever yeah. whatever I can get from you and feed off of you, I'm going to do it, mm-hmm. you know, in any way I can. And those are the things that, like, pride gets in the way of that we don't see, you know. Like, mm-hmm. even as, like, parents or people, like, if we say we care about... Like community, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? If we say we care about our community, then we should be recognizing these things, recognizing these things, communicating, you know, community, communicating right. these things to people. And, I feel to, like that's and calling some, them out. I feel like that's something that's been slowly like when we talk about the the slow desensitizing that happens through the media mm-hmm. and through like just like ideas that get pushed. There's this slow like dismantling of that community um, overseeing type thing that used to happen. Even when we were kids, it was yeah. like, remember Miss Carol and other people, yeah. like if they saw you doing something, they're they're going to say something or they're going to tell your parent and everyone's getting in trouble. You know, mm-hmm. it was like this whole, you knew that you couldn't, if my mom's not here, right. I could do whatever I want. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And now it's like people are in this mentality, even if it's like family and like people that you trust, it's like, you don't say nothing to my kid. I'll talk to them. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And that's, that's, where did how did that happen? How did we and get there? And it's crazy to me because right. it just it's not a like it goes back to you. Right. It's not even about your kid. Right. It goes back to you because, because you, it's, you're insecure and it right. hurts, it hurts you to see right. someone else say something about your kid because right. you feel like that reflects upon you and now you can't be yeah, yeah. you're it's right. all fear right you know what I mean and pride at the same time. Any of you guys? I just want to put this out. <laughs> Any of you guys want to whoop my kids' ass because they acting up? <laughs> Go ahead. Moan is uh, uh, agreeing to a communal ass whooping <laughs> right now. <laughs> ass whooping amongst the community. Yeah. No, but, no, but I think like amongst us, we all know that. Yeah, like, we all know that. Yeah. None of us, if we, you know, we're always we have little things right. that we're together at. Little, um, yeah. And if our kids are around and somebody does something, like we all, I think we all know, we wouldn't have a problem right. with disciplining. And that's probably yeah. what it was too. To add to what you're saying, I think back then people were more in tune to people's roles in the community. Right. So we knew that Mrs. Carroll ain't gonna murder your son. Right. We were more aware because we we weren't so tuned into social media and TV. So we spent time talking to one another. So it was natural for us to kind of really get a gauge for somebody because we lived next to them. We saw them all the time. We actually had conversations. Right. So we picked up on. How that we we don't know everything about them, but we had a, a good measure for who they were. Now we live in a time where we don't know that neighbor, we don't know them. And why is that? Because I, I guess we, we, I don't know, we're just sitting inside, we're it's not talking cr- to each other like, anymore. Yeah, like we will know everybody's feed on social media, and but every the neighbor trip next they've been on, <laughs> yeah, but can't 
don't have a conversation with the people who live right next right, door to us. Right. You know what I mean? Like, and that's yeah. so 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 that think about it. You don't know this neighbor, right? You barely see them, and they come over and tell you your kid did something. Right. You're you don't have the rapport with yep. them, so you're gonna naturally feel like who the hell are you? You don't even, you know. And yeah. that's that's what it is. We were just talking about this before the podcast. That's about. Yeah. The relationship that brings that trust that now you can uh, you can hear what they say and trust it right because right. if you don't if you didn't build that relationship you yeah, can, how can worthless. you trust what they say exactly you know? yeah. but yeah. like okay like think about it right there were times when in the neighborhood people would get together and like have a block party right or like be you know introduced right. or like say some he moved into the new the neighborhood. neighbor moves in everyone go, comes go, and you, greets them yeah. right you know what I mean and right. I feel like. People do, I mean, uh, what's his name? Um, Sebastian Maniscalco does a joke about ringing the doorbell 20 yeah, years ago versus yeah, today. Right. And it is so true because it's a reflection of what we've <laughs> become. A funny joke. You know, what we've become, we've yeah. become these people who, we don't want to be bothered. Leave me alone. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And we run inside and our kids see that. They're a reflection right. of that too. He talks about, I don't know if you guys ever seen this, but he talks about like when he was a kid, you had like certain you had certain food that your mom would save. This is for company. And no one can touch this. This is for company. You were so excited. Uh, yeah, there, was, there was like certain silverware, certain cups that this is for company. You can't have that. That's for company. And if the doorbell rang, you got us so excited because company was here. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. And now he talks about like if the doorbell rings, he's like close the shades, turn off the lights. Like who the hell would come? Who, who's coming over without calling? Like right. you, 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 you get this feeling of anxiety. Yeah, like who's yeah. at my house? You know what I mean? Yeah. It, and it's it, like, it, 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 and I thought that's a reflection of why it is what it is. Like these parents who you're coaching and you're, they're coming to you and they're talking to you, if you see them in Costco's, more than likely, a lot of them probably would just walk by. Right. You know what I mean? They, yeah. they may say something to you, but for the, for the most part, you're the coach. But Jamie, say like Jamie and Moan, you guys know each other. Right. Your kids play. Right. You see each other, you'd be like, hey. Yeah. It's, like, it's an awkward wave <laughs> yeah. and you keep it moving. You Dude, know what I mean? Dude, I see it every day when I pick my kids up from school. It's such a weird, like everyone. And you feel it, the tension. It's, but it's a lot. I'm going to say this. It's mostly the women though. Because all of the dudes, we, that all is true. Chop, we all chop That up. is true. We all talk to each other. That we talk about true. everything. But that is the true. women are just so Weird, like they don't yeah. want to get out of their cars. They don't want to talk to people. They you think kinda... about it, it's like, what yeah. do I do? Yeah, at my dick, yeah. so it's the same thing. Right, at my dick, it's the same, <laughs> it's the same thing. I'm always in there longest. I, yeah. I'm, I, I know all the, the all the um the girls that work there. I communicate, but you're right. Like I like say hello to the women, and it's like, Hi. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> like, ah. <laughs> but the guy, I'll joke around with the guys because I don't. I, I'm my own boss. I don't have nowhere to be particularly. Right, right. So I like to kind of like I'll drop Sophia off. I let her play. I I kind of talk to the girls Mingle and I build bit. relation. I feel like I'm built. They, they have my daughter again. For like it's about the trust. Like if you don't build, if you just are so cold with them every day, how are they going to be with your daughter? Exactly. You know what I mean? Right. If you build a relationship and a rapport with them, mm -hmm. that's going to translate into how they treat your kid. Very true. Yeah. You know? Very true. They're going to care. But you're that. right though. I think that it's like this weird thing. Like, don't talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's weird, man. It's weird. Even, you know, your people's friend. Like, oh. like it's just weird. It and it's weird. always that's been That's a weird. cultural thing for them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. What what I notice in, <clears throat> in my neighborhood, um, it's, I, I think it's like, just a generational, like the older people, I have a great relationship with all my neighbors. Mm -hmm. They yep. talk to me all the time. Don and it's, Penny. Dude, yeah. Penny. <laughs> it's the younger ones. Right. They walk to their cars and they right. don't, don't, don't catch eye, yeah. eye contact. Right. Don't, don't, don't look at Don't look at them. Don't look at them. Like I have neighbors that, that just never would talk to me. Yeah. Don't even Our look neighbors, at me. It's crazy. I'll try to wave. The older, the older, the grandfather, he'll, he'll say hi mm -hmm. if I wave. But the other ones, it's like they go out of their way to not see me wave. Which one is this one? The right next door. The new, oh, oh, that oh. family that moved in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, right, right. Yeah, right. It's weird, man. Yeah, it's so yeah. weird. That's yeah. how it is. You think it's social media? I'm sorry to cut you off. That it's like you're brave in on your phone, but that it's that, like I think that has a part. That of has it. a part to it. But I think in the 90s and the in the in the early 2000s, the 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 actual media pushed a lot of. Rape and kidnap. She was tortured in the basement for eight days, yeah. and you know what I mean. So it's like all of that kind of stuff. When you when oh, t um, you, you, I remember seeing the commercial. Uh, would be this was like in the nineties. Uh, today in Oprah, 
she was locked in a basement. He was molested yeah. by te- you, right. all you know. And th- those things are real. <laughs> women, wa- what do women watch? But it's fear. Oh my goodness, women are obsessed with like forensic files. It's how fear. to catch a murderer. My like, wife is watching podcasts about yeah. You know, so yeah. they, so then they of course so, naturally they're gonna have anxiety with everyone. Stay away. So it's like who's yeah. the killer? You know, what <laughs> right. who's the killer? So I got so. these these people who live across the street from me. Yeah, and they're probably a little younger than us. Is that the one that gave you the flowers and you uh, just no 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 he no. just let it die. Those were the those were the older. <laughs> they they're really nice, but uh, so these the nice people you just disrespected. <laughs> no, it was, I didn't mean to disrespect. He's going somewhere with the story, guys. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it. Every forgot. every spring he's gonna have a different flower. Like, see, it's growing. They're like that ain't the one we gave you. <laughs> I felt so bad about you. <laughs> but, no, these so these people like they never. Like you know how they you don't like, want to engage. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm like trying to say hi, whatever. Right. They they don't look at you. Right. Like one time the dude said hi to me. Right. Um. I think he's like Spanish and then she's white. Doesn't matter. No. But um. Anyway. So the thing that it started to piss me and my, Leslie off, me and my wife, because they kept like when they would have people come over the house, they would park right in front of our house. Wow. Like. Taking you know, up your spot. And she knows, like, they know we have cars. Right. You know what I mean? So right. it's like, and like, park my driveways here, like, park right up mm-hmm. against my driveway. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, mm-hmm. I, but if they were nice to you, you might be like, all right. <laughs> but I didn't, I never said anything, but mm-hmm. after a while, it was like, yo. Like, yeah. Uh, and then one time I was out there and I, and I like, Pointed to it like, and they were outside. Yeah. So the next day, <laughs> she came over. This was like right before Christmas. Yeah. Right. She came over with a bag of um caramel popcorn. Oh, okay. And it's like uh like a Wednesday or something. Yeah, yeah. Knocks on my door. It's dark outside. <laughs> like, who is this? Like at my door. Right? He did the same thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hit the light. <laughs> <Turn>. <laughs> No, no, now they now everybody got that ring doorbell. I got, yeah, so they, I got so the they're ring. looking on the app like right. everybody be quiet. <laughs> I got the ring, so I'm like, uh what? So anyway, I opened the door, she's like, Hi, I'm I'm from next it was so awkward. Yeah, you know? yeah, it was like right. I'm I'm from next I'm from across the street. Yeah. Um we just wanted to give this to you. And then she walks away. I'm like So maybe they're just like such awkward people Dude, that they can't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, right. but I'm we're like, a product of an environment. Yeah, but I'm yeah. telling you, she gave it to me because she knew like yeah. It was getting a little out of hand right. how people were just parking right in front of our house. Because cause on their side, like, if we did that, I already know it would be a right. problem. Right. So, you know, they weren't even they thinking weren't about being it. respectful. Yeah. And it's like, you know, I didn't care every once in a while, but it was like, yo, yeah. every day now. They're, yeah. So um, it was just funny because she it was like she knew that we knew. <laughs> so she had <laughs> yeah. to come. She had to <laughs> yeah. make that like peace offering. And then she like gave it to me. It was like. Okay. Like, <laughs> walk away. I'm like, thank you. Appreciate Yo, it. These neighbors. Like, oh, yeah. They're a little bit... Annoying? No, just like <laughs> that. Like, they're kind of, like, awkward. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's hard to, like, really yeah. talk to them. Like, right. like, I was thinking, like, all of the things that we're saying that feed it, that create that, I think, are true. But I also think it's it's more... It's also has to do with the way we have devalued just interaction with people. Like yeah, when, yeah. When, when you think about back in the day and how neighborhoods worked, you it was a community, but also like in certain environments, uh, if you saw someone walking down the street, it was like you said hi to them because right. this yeah. is right. someone in your community. Yeah. But when you think about like cities, mm-hmm. even like highly populated suburbs, <clears throat> you see so many people every day that it just... It just you your brain starts to just even not think of it as important. Mm. You know what I mean? Like in think about New York City, you're walking past thousands of people right, every right, day. Right. Yeah. So people just become just a part of the scenery. It's mm-hmm. like there there's no value there. There is right. no like oh I should say hi to like you to say hi to no one. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. yeah. But yeah. there's this weird thing that I think that happens with us too in that way. But I noticed it that, that like at Wawa for some reason everyone is super nice. Like everyone holds the door for each other. Yeah, and yeah, every yeah. time I go to Wawa. You're right. People hold the door for me and I hold the door for them. And it's like yeah. this thing. Everyone says thank you and they're all real polite. But why is that only yeah. there? Like, right, yeah. right. Not a Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> yeah, Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> no. But you're right, though, because back then, that was part of communal, um, uh, the, the symbiotic relationship that people had because you, you, you kept an eye on the neighborhood. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. 
it so, was value to ha- to have a relationship. Yeah, with because you, you know you could, you know you could you know yeah. if someone didn't belong there. Right. You know you 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 didn't really need the police for everything. It was almost like exactly a self contained little community. You know what I mean? Well, I mean even thinking about like biblically love. Your neighbor as you love yourself, right? You know right. what I mean, right? Like that's what. But the importance of that goes so deep into just how the community works. Mm-hmm. You know, it's right. not just it's not just understanding like it. But that's do. probably what it is, though, because if you think about it, like I was saying this to, to dad today, I was like, look at it. Like I'm I'm 39 now, so almost 40 years of living, and I'm asking myself, what does school really teach kids? Like, are we really looking at this and saying, like, what's the value in it? Mm-hmm. Like. Like, are we learn? Like, is it the same thing over and over again? But right. we're not really getting anywhere. But we're still doing it anyway because right. that's just how it is. Are we really breaking that down to explain to kids like how does this work? You know what I mean? Yeah, and I, I agree with you. Uh, the dude Gary V was just did a podcast I was watching today, and he was talking to somebody about like school and how like they're still using these old methods of memorization for things that you don't need to memorize because it's all here. Right, you right. Know what I mean, right. So it just becomes a waste of time at that point. It's a waste of time. You could push them into more advanced the more, yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Which is weird, but there's a weird dynamic to that too because I feel like everything is this is like isolating us so much like even what we're just talking about mm-hmm. you know the fact that you don't need neighbors to have your back now because you have a ring doorbell that everything comes up on here and if someone comes up to your property you can see them mm-hmm. and you can see the mm-hmm. surrounding area it's right. like right. there's a weird right you have to figure out a way to balance it all right yeah. but right. i think like like what they did um my other neighbor that <laughs> they gave us a plant that <laughs> let die but um just you know, the camaraderie and just like going out your way a little bit. Like that's something like going to people, um, my neighbor next door, like I try to help out. They're not there a lot. So I try to do things yeah. for them. Um, and then she starts talking to me more. She don't even like, and she doesn't realize everything I do. I'm just trying to help out cause they're not there. You right. know what I mean, just like the trash and stuff like that. But, um, if you just go outside of yourself a little bit and be a little bit, <laughs> What, what? Sorry, lad. But there's this one meme. Did you ever see that, that meme that's speaking about what you're talking about? I don't know. Maybe could, Rachel can find it. But it's a meme of um, talking about like when you know your neighbor ain't shit or something like that. And it mm. was like two row houses right next to each other. They share the same walkway, steps going up to the door. Oh, yeah. And there's it's snow, snow on there. And the person literally just shoveled <laughs> yeah, their yeah, half yeah, of yeah. the steps. Yep, like yep. It's like... That yeah. type of ridiculousness. Yeah, Someone took yeah. a picture of that. Like, look at my neighbor ain't shit. Like, yeah. the step is as big as this table. Right, right. But they only <laughs> shovel their half. Right. They, they, <laughs> That's the thing. Like, yep. I yep. would never, like, when I used to live at a, a different house, like, me and the neighbor, we were so cool. And I would, he was a lot older, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right. A lot mm-hmm. older. It's funny. A lot of the, the neighbors I had were... A lot older, but they would talk. You know, yeah, what I mean? we'd yeah. have had good conversations. Sometimes but, a little too much. You'd be like, "All right, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, gotta go." Don texts me every holiday. Like, he, just, <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. But but anyway, yeah, it's just about showing a little bit more. Yeah. Love, love thy neighbor as yeah. you would love yourself. Yeah, you know? that happened in the eighties and the nineties, man. It was the era of terror, and then this. This turned it even worse now because, like I said, if you didn't if you didn't have access to the internet or this stuff, you wouldn't really wouldn't know what's happening around the world. Crime would be relative to where you live. What's happening in your community would be relative to. Oh where yeah, you there are. it is, right there. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> yeah, that is crazy. And he, yeah, but wow, it, it, it's like we all know people like that. Right. Yeah, that right. would do some petty stuff like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. But but, and, but, but you know also, what you do with people like that. The next time you shovel their whole right, thing. Right. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. don't try also, to get back at them. Yeah, That's right. right. But the other side of that story is people will jump on that meme and curse the person out and look find up their address and send them hate mail. But you mm. don't know the full dynamic of their relationship. That is true as well. That person could be a that piece is. of shit that took that picture. Yeah, and right. the person did that on purpose because it's like, yo, I'm not shoveling your shit. You've been messed up to me for 18 years. Right. You know what I mean? You've so lasted you, records yeah, at nighttime. You don't right. know. But it's still like I I know you know it's tip still for tat it's still thing. tip for tat, mm-hmm. but I'm saying like you can't just that's think always you know the happen. whole story. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like people people see a picture and think that the whole story is laid right. out. You know, you don't know yeah. the depths of what could, right. that could be. Right. You know, I just think we I just think we're we're missing 
we're missing out on a big aspect of teaching young people and just really focusing on being neighborly. Yeah. You know, we should want to help one another, you know? Yeah, that's a lost, 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 lost idea yeah. now, nowadays. Yeah. Just helping out neighbors, doing things for each other, being happy to do it. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Love's going cold. Yeah. yeah. I always find myself... Talking to like the gas station guys, you know. Like, hey and man, your, how you your doing? Your wife gets so mad about it. I'm sure. Right? Uh, no, she's she no she. When we first met, she thought I was like anti friends. Yeah, yeah. Because th- that was not what I was trying to say. I was just trying to tell her I'm not trying to get into your friends. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> look, she about to pop back up. Uh, like, yeah. What you say? I heard that. <laughs> no, my thing is, I like conversation. I like conversation with people. I, I just enjoy that. Right. Like, I like talking to people. And some people will communicate, you know. We're all like that. Yeah. Like we all, all for some reason, all of, all of us, like we'll yeah. all get in conversations with people. Yeah. yeah. And my wife hates it. I know <laughs> mine and mine yours. the same way. They sit there like, will y'all just shut up? <laughs> right. <laughs> Whenever I see somebody, I know she's like, oh, right, no. Right. Yeah. Maybe because <laughs> women, like for them... Eventually, it follows up. So, what's up? Let me get your number. Yeah, and they yeah. It, it can't guys the, the defense mechanism. Yeah, because men just can't. Yeah. yeah, you know, men how that we we are. We can't just let that be. Yeah. we gotta go to the right. next. It's like why right. can't you just be nice yeah. and just leave it there? Leave you know? it there. No, nope. because <laughs> I remember, you know, one of the things that taught me as a as a young man to not harass women is watching men harass my sisters. Right, right. You know, not that I had that in me because my dad isn't like that. Yeah. But like when I would go with my sisters, you know, just watching how aggressive guys yeah. were, and then watching my sisters be turned off, I was like, well, if they feel like that, then why would I? You know what why I mean? Why would I do that to some other girl? And I never had sisters, and I always felt like that way. Yeah, you know what I mean. I always just felt like that was so like yeah, I don't want to be that guy. Yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah. be that guy. Yeah. So I understand why you know. Yeah, you know why it's turned into that because women are always suspicious. Like if I say hi to this guy, when it's like, so what's up? You married or something? Right, right. It's gonna come, right. and they don't want to deal with it. So it's just best for them to be like, bye, <laughs> you know, get out of there. It's, you know? it's funny when we used to have to when we used to force ourselves to talk to random girls walking by um, when we were selling CDs. Yeah, and how many of them thought you were trying to hit on them? Right, you right, know what I mean. Like right. just because that's what they're used to. Yeah, I would right. get. I was actually trying to hit on them. <laughs> <laughs> I remember people used to come up like, come up to Leslie or yeah. Oh yeah, he tried to talk to me. Yeah, they would tell. Yeah, there were stories. Liz, same stuff thing. about you. Yeah, you know, Liz, same thing. Oh, you tried to talk to me. Yeah, like because right. I tried to sell you a CD. Yeah, <laughs> I rem- yo, I specifically remember some girls like you would get through the whole thing, get them to buy a CD, and then they'd be like, "So you gonna ask me for my number now?" <laughs> No. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. I just wanted your money. What do you think this is? <laughs> Unless it was Brian. Yeah, no. Some of us. Yeah. All I right. was the ultimate. I dipped goal. in it. No, times. men, men, <laughs> we have to admit that men ruined it too. Because oh, guys, yeah. guys take it too far. You oh, know absolutely. I mean? You know. Bro, have you ever been to Greek weekend? Yes. <laughs> I was scared. I thought he was gonna say no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> do you know about Greek weekend, Rachel? A little bit. Rachel uh, was too young to they, that ended when she became of age. Yeah, yeah. But it, um, it started getting out of hand, bro. That was like yeah. nonsense. We went out there one time with Mike and Greg, and yeah. I was like, never. What year again. was that? Ninety seven. I did nineteen ninety nine. I just ran yeah. into Greg. Yeah, yeah. At Walmart. Yeah, ninety seven, ninety eight, maybe. maybe yeah, ninety seven or ninety eight. I don't. One of them years, but. That was enough for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. that last, next time we went out there was when we got arrested for selling CDs out there. That was, that that was, was the only weekend. time I yeah, went. Yeah. That was the last time they had Greek Weekend, I think. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I think. That year. Yeah. Because yeah. all this stuff happened. There was happened. a bunch of yeah, people yeah, yeah. got raped. Remember? Damn. It was crazy. Yeah. yeah. It was Insanity. crazy. What do you expect? They were walking out there with nothing. And it would be like 13, 14-year-old girls yeah. going out there trying to get attention from these yeah, dudes. Yeah. Yeah, and they would literally walk out there with nothing, and it, and it became like the thing. Like, right. if you're gonna go out there, you gotta something do one was gonna happen. Yeah, right, like right. The, thing. the worst one was remember when they were trying to do that Fat Tuesdays thing. Yeah, that one was yeah. terrible. Yeah. Remember when they were doing that for a couple years, and it got so crazy. Uh, mm-hmm. It was like on the news. People were like mm-hmm. in the alleys getting raped and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Like it's insanity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. South Street, man. Yeah. 
That's I, that's why to this day I really don't like to go to South Street. Right, like, right. I like to go when nobody's there. You got arrested yeah. a couple times. On that 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 does add to it. You got arrested <laughs> twice. You got arrested twice on South Street <laughs> for selling CDs. Were dude. you guys raping? No, selling CDs. <laughs> <laughs> raping. <laughs> you guys out here raping? What are you doing out here, guys? You raping? <laughs> No, we were selling our own CDs. They thought we were bootleggers every time. Every time, right? Even New York, because you guys didn't have the African accent. Yeah, that's right. You know what I mean? No, it wasn't Africans back then. No, they weren't African bootleggers back no, then. No, nope. In my friend, no, my it was friend. it was a lot of Muslims. It was, it was hood, hood, yeah. hood Muslim dudes. Hey, yo, Aki. <laughs> Yo, I got them oils. Remember you the oil them dudes? Oils. <laughs> them I got oil, that Pepsi blue. Yo, them oil dudes were so annoying. Did, you, did they ever approach you? Yeah. The oils guy? Yeah. Didn't they recently <laughs> approach you, Rach? Did you ever have the Muslim oil. oil guys approach you? They, right. yo, they would be making them oils in their bathtubs in the in the hood, right, and just right. like putting dyes and yeah, fragrances right. together. <laughs> like I call this one Dolce and Gabbana. Yeah, yeah. the one <laughs> got me. One got me one time. I, he put it in my hand. Like he chased me down. He put yeah. it in my hand, and he was like, "He's like, smell that, man." I was like, "He's like, smell it." So I smell it, and I was like, "It actually smelled pretty good." He's like, "He's like, what's your name?" I said, you know, "I said, I said, what's this called?" He's like, "What's your name?" I was like, "James." He's like, "There you go." <laughs> <laughs> Hit you with the swagger. There you go. James was like, I'm sold. Take I all of my it. money now. <laughs> How much does this cost? A thousand dollars? Yo, them dudes were the worst. Mm-hmm. They, Brian, was the oil. One. Brian will always get caught buying yeah. them oils, man. I bought one before. But, but his main reason for buying oils was because he was too cheap to buy real cologne. Right. So the oils was his excuse. Yeah. To like have a fragrance, right. but it smell like uh, I now. just I just like oils better. You know what I'm saying? Like that's no, just my man. thing. No. I just like oils. <laughs> How much are these oils? <laughs> two cents. <laughs> yeah, it cost them two cents to make. They sell it to you for. I got two for two for five, two right. for five, two for ten. Like dumb dudes. And it was like. <laughs> Yeah, it was like <laughs> the real roll. They used to always come with the same. There must have been like a little hood school for the oil sellers that they <laughs> the all went to. They probably was all a, put their money together. The oils dudes and the fake watch dudes. Remember, they used to hang around the malls yeah, all the time. Yeah, following you. Yeah, I saw one of them guys. Remember, there were two guys. Yes, that used to always they be always were in Hill Cherry Hill and Echelon. Yeah. They used to go back and forth. Yeah, the I brothers? Saw. Yes. The twins? They weren't, no, twins. They weren't twins. Oh, but they used to. Their, their approach was always the same. They would walk up to you, be like. Yo, that shirt is dope, man. Woo, you killing them. Yo, but you got to get this watch, though. Like, this watch with it would be... Like, they try to, yeah. like, bring you in with the compliment yeah, 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 first yeah. and make you feel good about yourself. <laughs> and I'm thinking, like, who does this work on? Yeah. But the funny thing with us was, like, me. they would come up to us every other... Th- like, dude, you don't remember me? Yeah. Like, you, they had the worst memories Yeah, ever. they did. They were terrible at it. And we know that from, like, being yeah. in the malls. Like, yep. dude, right, seriously? Right. Yeah. But even think about that, like... Even that, like, those things were social training. Like, you had, the kids today don't even know none of that. <laughs> yeah, you, you could really, uh, Jake got, Jake and got experience with a Nigerian scam before they existed online. Remember that dude in Philly when you went with Mike Weren't and them? You there? You, I wasn't there. You, there. you told me about it when you got back. Oh. I don't, I don't Nigerian know, I like scam. Yeah. You know the Nigerian scams. Oh my gosh, that was about so they'd be crazy. online. Like send me, send me a thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. And so, I'll, I'll, I'm a prince in Nigeria. I'm a prince in Nigeria. Please. So, so this is what happened. We were down. We were on Market Street, right? We were going to a store. I was with uh, Mike and yeah. Donnie and Greg. That's who it was. Yeah, not you. So. Man, you have the memory of an <laughs> elephant. Don't he, yo? That dude. <laughs> <laughs> he has named no name. So, so the, the guy comes September up. 2 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> the guy comes up and he's like, he's like, oh my gosh. Um, Listen, I'm not going to do his accent because yeah. I suck at that. But anyway. <laughs> he was like, listen, listen. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Somebody robbed me for my money. Um, Can you just... Uh, he said something about like, he had his money somewhere else, and he had to go get it. But he needed to hold on to um, our money to pay for something so then he could go get his, his money and then give it back to us, right? Mm-hmm. So was that really the story? I don't remember exactly. I, it wasn't. It was more. Yeah, clever. I promise you. Something. It, was, it was more clever it was than a that. Lot I remember at the time, that. but I'm I was horrible I, at yeah, remembering. I don't stuff. remember the specifics of the so story. So he had this story, and 
I'm not buying it. Like, Wasn't didn't he have? Didn't he say he had his money in the bag and he needed to put their money with yes, his money? Yes, yes, yes. And then and that's what it was. <laughs> you got a good memory. He sure so, does, man. He had a bag, right? And he uh-huh. showed he showed the money in the bag. Uh oh, whose phone is that? Oh shit! Oh, I, I, t- I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so there was a bag, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he approached you with the bag, and he had the bag, and he pulled out the money. Okay. in the bag, mm-hmm. right? He did some magic trick he stuff. Made <laughs> he he did some magic trick stuff. So he said. So then he was like, "Well, come in with me to." We went into the McDonald's. So then he said, um, "Okay, just so I know, you guys." He said, "I need you to hold this for me." This bag. Yeah. Right? So he, he flashed like the money was in the bag and yeah. said, all right, now hold you hold this, this for bag. Me while I go and do what I need to do because I can't take this with me. Right? Right. Because he had to go to the train station or something. So, But he said- He yep. said, you guys put your money in with my money so I know that you won't steal. And then I'm going to give you a bag. And they can all be, it made no sense. So to them, they're like, oh, we're going to get him for his money, right? Yeah. So I'm sitting back. Like, I'm, I'm there, but I'm like in the background. <laughs> like, I'm not. Jake doing, is like, I'm I don't like this. Because, right? you know, I, my family's from New York. I, I, they yeah. were hustlers. Right. I, I know all about He's this like, stuff. That's no me. And I told him. <laughs> but I didn't want to be like out and out with it. So I'm like, yeah, yeah. yo. <laughs> nah, so nah, they're, they're falling for it your They're friend. falling for it Because wow. they're, they're thinking like, Once he leaves We're just going to take The yeah. bag of money they're And like, he's going to be right. beat yeah. yeah No 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 We got this We got this. So I'm like Because they're like They're thinking like He's giving us the bag With the money in it And he put it And he puts it in the One of the guys One of my friend's pocket Like inside yeah. his jacket Right yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So he's like Alright I'll put your money in there Okay we're going to put it all inside. Okay <laughs> Some magic okay. trick shit Now please 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 <laughs> Please, please. Please, do not follow money. me. <laughs> so you meet me here, and I'm gonna go, and I'll be back. Right. So they wait a little bit, and then leave, and they run out like, "Oh, we got him! We got, we got, we got, got right? all this money!" Right? They they pull <laughs> the bag out. They take the wad of money out, and it's newspaper <laughs> cut up and some money. <laughs> <laughs> Played. <laughs> And they were wow. so mad. So <laughs> how I much think, money? Do you remember how much money? I think money between those? both of them, they had probably like close to five hundred dollars. Damn, oh, wow. I'd be pissed. Yo, that, yeah, that's was, the Nigerian prince scam. I don't know or the internet. Yo. I don't know. They've if been Donnie on that shit for. Did it? I can't remember. I, don't, I think it was just Mike and Greg because I remember but you telling I, telling yeah. the story. Donnie no, was too cheap to do that yeah. shit. Come he probably on. didn't even have Donnie no was like, Donnie was like, Mm-mm. but you know, Mike and Greg, yes. Wow, yeah. but. Because we went there to shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, all right, I'm not doing this. Yeah. You guys mm-hmm. go ahead. It was fishy. And not only that, even if it was true, I'm like, I'm not taking this guy's money anyway. You know yeah, what I mean? Right. So they tried to do some sneaky stuff yeah. and got played. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How did we get on that? <laughs> because we were... T- I, don't, I don't know. But it was... It's a story that <laughs> we never told. We were talking about Philly and it. selling and scamming. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. 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 And then I thought about that, yeah. and I thought about but, how that ties into the Nigerian scams on the internet. Like that was they were they was doing that shit in person oh, yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. You know oh, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like they yeah. was getting people. And he was probably from Nigeria. Yeah. 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 Yo, but why, how? Why are they so good at that? Like, yeah. how, they're like the best in the world at coming up with scams. Yeah. Like, I mean, I guess because that's what they grew up in. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. I yeah. mean, they even helped Jesse. That's Smollett. Into, that, <laughs> <laughs> what'd you say? That wasn't a good scam. They though. even oh, helped Jesse. Jesse <laughs> they weren't yeah. good at that. Yeah. Brazil is like it's that. So Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> Brazil. There's some parts of Europe like that too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Somali. Somalis are, make the, the best watch. pirates. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> right now, yep. they're making pirates out there. <laughs> yeah, what is, it is. Man, that's been crazy. Some funny. Somebody told me about something that happened online. What, what One of like those scams, Nigerian scam. Yeah, mm, that somebody fell into. I can't remember. Yeah, they're well, get, they're getting more like mm-hmm. devious. Like they're getting cle- more clever with it. There's mm-hmm. other ones now that they're doing. Right. That are right. more clever. Well, it's you know people like like you said the reason you, you, those dudes fell for that is they they wanted to do. They wanted to rob him. Right. He got them first. He knew that. You know right. what I mean? And it's the same thing. Like, I got money, but I need a bank account to put it in. 
you're thinking I want that money in my bank account right. so I could go get that money and right. take it out for myself. Right. You get, you know what I mean? It, you have divisive motive too. Right. You know? So that's what they're doing. They're feeding off of your own desire <laughs> to rob them to then rob you so then when you get yeah. robbed, yeah. You're, you you can't you can't be mad. And in, <laughs> a, in a way, think about it. The stores do the same thing. This Black Friday, right. TVs for one dollar. Stand in this line. Right. You know what I mean? It's the same thing. It's like you get in there, they had one TV. It's, yeah. it's the you're, same. You're blinded by your own desire. Exactly. Right. exactly. That's what it is. It's just that. <laughs> what degree do you want to be robbed at? Right. You know what I mean? Right. Or it's like like Cardi B saying like those guys think they're gonna get some. She bring them up to the room. She drug them. Yep. She, she take them for what? You know what I mean? Yeah. They think they're the gonna same. get something they from. Think her. They're gonna get some yeah. from her. And this she is nothing new. It's not. You know what the worst deal is in in uh, like Targets or like CV or whatever. You always see like big le- 50% off. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, right. If you buy one, right, you get the right, second one. Right, right. Yeah. Smaller letters. Yeah. You know right, what right. I mean? They always they do, that. do that so mm-hmm. much. They want to get you. It's uh, I remember a movie, with, it was a stupid movie, but the uh, one of the scenes was a Middle Eastern store. It was an electronic store, like some of a pawn shop, but more of an electronic store. It was always going out of business. Mm. It, 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 yeah. The whole, every, Dude, the every year. The dump. <laughs> is it going out of business? How, yeah. how many years have you been seeing the dump going out of business? Yeah. It's been at least 30 years. <laughs> right. Yeah, Everything must go. That store never closes. Right. But you always see the right. dump going out of everything. It's going. Yeah. We're going to be closed. Liquidation. And, yeah, it's yep. it's the, the oldest trick in the book. It's right, like, right. oh, I'm going to get a deal because they're closing. And no, you're not. No, you're not. They're exactly. going to gonna say it, it was a $2,000 coach. Um, couch that's seventy percent off, but it really is a three hundred dollar couch. You right, know, what I mean? right? It's like right. It, it's it's it's. They crazy. get some shoes, from right. Lord and Taylors. They just said that. Cheap. They, they just they said closing. well when they're really closing. Yeah, it's a when they're really thing. closing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they use it as a tag. They did that whole thing. Uh, someone just did the thing about smart TVs or TVs in general. Like yeah. when in when in the er, er, mid to early two thousand when flash screen came out, how expensive they were. Yeah. So recently, the reason they dropped in price was not because. It's easy to manufacture them. What is easy to do is sell the content, mm. the smart TVs and stuff like that. So the manufacturers found out, okay, look, if, if we make the TVs crappy and they'll clunk out after two years, then we'll get the reputation that we make bad TVs. So right. we can't do that. So we make a TV that lasts between five to ten years. If a customer comes back every five to ten years, we're not really going to be making that much money. Right. So if we lower the price of the TV but increase the content, we partner up with movie companies, mm-hmm. streaming networks. Put Roku on there. Exactly. Wi-Fi, USB ports. Yeah. Right. So we get more money by selling the content mm-hmm. you know, than we do the TV. It's always a well, repackaged deal. It's controlled deal. obsolescence, right? Like it's... Right. What all of these companies do to like they know that they need to put a shelf life on it in order to make the proper amount of money. Exactly. Because they could make things that last right. way longer. Right. Yeah. So that's so the the thing is is that market executive that's sitting on a desk like this with a bunch of people coming up with that right. is no different than the African guy <laughs> right, right. coming up. All right. How can we trick so these people? So I see these guys yeah. coming here with yeah. a bunch of jackets. Yeah. I take their money, I put it in there. They, <laughs> they run down the street. They have nothing. Newspapers. I got them. <laughs> His African accent sounds like an Arabic guy. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. It's, like it's a universal accent. Work for anybody. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't like, work for sounds Asians. Like one of the, it sounds like the Israeli guy. Remember that that scam? The Isra- oh, let me see your nails. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Your nails yeah. are beautiful. Let me put... And they would rub that lotion on, yeah. on, on the girls. I would, uh, they used to have How much is this? <laughs> $1,000 for a paint. <laughs> they used to have a cart right next to mine in the Ashland Mall. And I would just yeah. watch... They always had the same look. I ended up dudes. dating one of those girls too. They always had to, uh, at that slime mall, yes. dude. What? <laughs> yeah, I knew all of them girls. I used to talk to all of them. I but ended up, they I ended up dating were one of them. so weird. Yes, <laughs> I did. I discovered that after the fact. <laughs> what do you mean weird? They just like I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> but not podcast material. No, they, well, what it was, it was like they. Shaniqua might be watching. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Uh, they, they're all. She told. She told me how it worked. They're mm-hmm. all overseas, yeah. and they they pretty much come over, yep. and they get. They all. They're all living in the same apartment yep. or building or whatever. Then they, you know. Yeah, it's like a whole system they yeah. put in place. Yeah. The yeah. dudes, they they pick dudes that look a certain way because they're gonna hit on the girls. They pick girls that look a right, certain right. way because they gotta sell. But it doesn't guys. work for the dudes as much as it does the girls, right? Because American women aren't that kind of slick. Yeah. They don't like that kind of guy. Right, you right. know what I mean? So it don't That's work true. for them. That's true. And the yeah. girls don't have a problem with 
playing up the flirtiness to the guys to try right. to sell them. Like right. they mm-hmm. don't have a problem. American girls are a little more yeah. like I don't want to give you that impression yeah. because yeah. they don't they will put it on thick. Like yeah. they, they're you're about walking, to sleep with you. Yeah, the guys <laughs> you know are, I mean? yeah, because you're walking down, the guys are like, come here, let me twirl you. Yeah, right. All right. right. You look oh, so you are good. gorgeous. I went this to Maddie. Like, that's what they would, that's what they would do. they I'm not even joking. Yes. That's no exaggeration. They would be like, oh, wait, you are gorgeous. Can I marry you? Oh my goodness, let me see your nails. Oh this is beautiful. Yes, yes. Let them right here. <laughs> yeah. And the it's girls, like, the girls would do the same thing. Oh my God, you are so handsome. Meanwhile, the guys are <laughs> I am. <laughs> yeah, this old frumpy dude with bald niggas. Like, Jamie just told me I'm ugly. <laughs> you you know, like, I like Looking you. like Trick Daddy. <laughs> and I would, yeah, like Trick Daddy's mugshot. <laughs> and I would just be sitting at the car shaking my head like, yeah, Jatan just told me that I'm really <laughs> ugly and I can't sell CDs. How much is this vat of cream? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, didn't one of y'all get try try to get scammed when you were who was it that was looking for an apartment or a house? And me, that was that me. was you. Okay, it was through email, right? So it was the same type of like S- same type of thing. Uh, it was a house though right. for rent. House this, for rent. This is when uh, I was moving out of Pandas. They they try all the angles, bro. Dude, they were like, uh, yeah, that we're having to me we're, too. we're we're in um we're at a missionary in in. <laughs> Africa, oh, South geez. Africa. Oh, Jesus in there on <laughs> yeah. you. We would but never do the, just, anything just wrong. Just go, just go. We have the keys with us. Just go to the house and look at the house. And if you like it, um, you send us the, a deposit for $1,500, whatever it was, and we'll, we'll mail you the keys because we have it with us. Sounds legit. Yeah. You know I mean, how many, that you know, was the same thing. Happened. You know how yes. many? You know yeah. how many people? Sad, like it's sad that how many people probably fall for that. Yeah, because they, the house is probably looking beautiful, and the, the price that they want for it is probably way underpriced. Mm-hmm. So then the mm-hmm. deposit is like, oh, for real? Too good to be through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just that's. But the that's funny crazy. thing is, like the house is up for sale. <laughs> 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 it was just like because I remember I saw that and I'm like, this looks too good to be true. Yeah. I emailed them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely too good to be true. Then I'm like la- laughing with Leslie, like, look, it's the house is up for sale. It's right. not even mm-hmm. like not even my bad. It wasn't up for sale. It was like auctioned. Right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, auction. That's crazy. <laughs> now you're squatters. Yeah. Scammers, man. <clears throat> and that's what it is. I mean, we don't we have no idea about that in school. Yeah. You know, it's Well, you had to learn that. You had to learn that the hard way. Like you yeah, had to, yeah, yeah. you had to gain that intelligence, mm-hmm. you know. And mm-hmm. now people aren't really getting exposed to that, right? You know, mm-hmm. right. Yeah. And all these things, kind of like, it, 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 you know, when you start figuring that out, you you're gonna be a little more skeptical, and you're gonna try and figure that out, especially in the, being in the city. Yeah, you know. Yeah, city. The city will eat you alive because it's you, heightened. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's true, man. And that's why people become so like. To themselves. Detached, yeah. That's yeah. why you get them. Yeah, we you show, can't trust anybody. Yeah. <laughs> we show up in the city. Where's the love? Yeah. I'm from the suburbs. That's right. why you get oh, all those anything. cat women. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Talking was, about the tox, toxoplasma Gandhi. Yeah. 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 We were talking about that before the podcast. It's one of the more, that it's one of the weirdest, crazy. one of the weirdest phenomenons that I've seen. Like, Explain that. So there's this. There's this worm, basically a parasite. It's called Toxoplasma gondii, and the condition is called Toxoplasmosis. And it's basically a, a worm that lives in cats, especially feral cats or stray cats, that um, the purpose is to reproduce. Like, there's a lot of parasites that they're... Yeah, here's a, a little article on it. <clears throat> so the purpose of a lot of parasites is to find a way to reproduce. And the way they do it is they feed off of something until that thing dies, and then they can reproduce that way. There's some insects that mm-hmm. you know will commit suicide, jump in water, and drown so that the thing can reproduce in the water. And the parasite is yeah. already inside of them, so it's, they're infected. No, they get it from somewhere. Yeah. Okay, okay. They get it from like rolling. they're trying yeah. to get to the cat. The, the, yeah. Right. Oh, okay. So the cat gets it from the wild somewhere. They don't know how it gets it. It gets it from. Something in the wild. Because cats are always... Cats well, are always eating stray animals, birds, yeah. you know, rodents. Well, the cats that are out. Yeah, like, the cats. That's, that's why it's mostly cats feral cats, yeah. stray cats, like cats right. that you let run out into the wilderness. Mm-hmm. So they or get, even in the city. like Yeah. Yeah. 
yeah, alleys yeah, or whatever. Yeah, definitely. Because mm-hmm. ra- the amount of rats in the city is yeah. ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Um, but so they get this worm, and then the worm makes it so that if it gets passed on to rodents, it makes the rodent attracted to the cat's urine so that the rodent will then get eaten by the cat. And then the, the so the parasite wants to be in the cat. Yeah. So it, it, it'll get into the rodents first, and then, you know... It wants to get into the cat because that's the only way that it'll reproduce. Right. So the cat spread it to the rodents. The rodents spread it back to cats. Circle and that's life. how it keeps going. But it can also infect other animals. It can also infect humans. Yeah. And some of the studies that I was looking at on it are saying that like there's a, a weird high percentage of the amount of humans that own stray cats that have it. I don't know. Rachel can look it up. But um, uh, when humans have it, they're starting to link it with like irrational behavior or like weird, like cat, 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 cat lady behaviors. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which makes sense when you think about the the Does stigma it kill you? associated. Yeah. It doesn't kill you. It'll okay. live in. It can live in you forever. So it's a parasite. It's a parasite that you can ingest. How? No, it, you don't ingest it. It gets into your skin or whatever through just contact with the cat. Like okay. they say that, especially like. But you can see why, like, cat lovers, cat women, people that let the cats go out or that bring in stray cats, because if you bring the cat close to your face, you're, it's going to get in you. Okay. You know what I mean? You can breathe it in. You can get it in your mm-hmm. on your hands, and then you touch your face, and it's in your mouth, and then it goes straight to your brain. Yeah. So now that the the rat eats this thing or whatever, it's in them. Right. And it causes the rat the to rat, want to the, be the eaten. The rat wants to be attracted to the cat now. Like it becomes almost sexually attracted to cats. What the? And yeah. And then the cats eat them, and then the cat gets the worm again. So the, it, the so the parasite is causing this. Yes. yes. The parasite wow. goes to the brain of the rat and causes it to do this. Like it causes some reaction in the brain. <laughs> like Dude, it, it's crazy, yo. It's wow. crazy. Nature is insane. It, man. To me, it, the crazy part is is how this this parasite can control that animal, yeah. the, the the mouse, to do. Right, you know things that it won't normally do because you know right. it run away from the kid. Yeah, rats and <clears throat> you know the cats are dangerous to them. Mm-hmm. They'll walk up to them. It looked like you know the mouse is about to cuddle with the freaking cat. Yeah, and this is the parasite controlling. Yeah, controlling that animal. Wow. And then the the cat eats it and it goes right back into it. The cat poops out whatever. <laughs> yeah. And then the rats and the mice rats are attracted to the poop. To, to poop. Yeah. And it's just a. Yeah. So ongoing cool. cycle, but in humans, there's nowhere for the the, the worm to go. Hmm. So the the worm just stays in in the brain, and you can have multiple ones in the brain from multiple cats, and and it like um, it's linked to like weird behavior. Hmm. Yeah, and they don't know yeah. how extensive it is yet. Yeah. By the way, speaking of mice, I had a mouse in my house. Mm-hmm. Mouse in my house. Yeah. Um. And just for any, anybody who's trying to figure out how to get a mouse out their house, just get a simple trap, right? You know, the simple snap. What are they yeah. called? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mouse trap. Yeah, mouse <clears throat> snap Old traps. school snap. You got it. Yeah, but there's a lot of people that are like, you have to humanely get rid of the mouse. No. Mm-hmm. Nah, fuck that. I, I'm not doing it. Yeah, because then it's going to come right back. Right. Like, if you, if you take that mouse I was, out. I watched... Yeah, a lot of these videos. Yeah. They were saying like they would take them like a mile away, and the mouse would still come back because the one like this one guy he had one with like there was an ear like that was like cut. Yeah, and the same mouse came kept back coming back. The house. Yeah, yeah. So he was like he was trying to do that, but it's really. But anyway, mice are nasty. You know, they leave poop everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, we had one in our house, and. I, I put traps all around the house, put peanut butter on it, and they just licking that peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> licking the peanut butter right off. Trap ain't going. So what I learned was you got them cheap Walmart traps. <laughs> no, nah, they're they're good. Those are the ones, the Victor traps. They were the ones that Oh, they that's were, the ones I got, dude. Yeah, I'm saying, telling you, mine those traps at our house got a hair trigger on them things. Yeah. Mine too. Oh, like oh, a bunch. I, I, I always catch mice on that thing. Yeah, when you. But the thing is, they're smart. Like the, maybe the ones they live too close to Camden or something. <laughs> <laughs> the Camden mice is also look. They're the is Nigerian rats. <laughs> <laughs> yo, like, no, no, speaking about uh, 
Africa and and hold on, hold on. Let me just finish. Oh, go ahead, finish. <laughs> Let me finish. He's so trying to get to the point of how you catch the yeah, so anyway. in the tutorial right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I put some Tootsie Roll, right? Found that on YouTube. Found it on YouTube. Works the best, man. So all you do is uh you take like a little piece of the Tootsie Roll. I got some like hot water, right? Mm-hmm. Put it in the water so it gets really soft. Then you put it around like the the part of the the trigger. The yeah. trigger, yeah. yeah. So that it's stuck on there, Mm -hmm. right? And then, you know, it'll eventually... Snap that neck. Harden. Mm -hmm. Once it hardens, you put it down. So they have to now pull at it, and it's going to go off. Because the peanut butter is cool. Like, they like peanut butter, but the problem with the peanut butter is they just lick it off little Mm -hmm. by little. But with this, you gotta get that. You thick gotta pull it. Peanut butter, boy. Yeah. I never yeah, have a problem with peanut butter. The I, but that's what we works use, for me. That's what we use here. Yeah, we I mean, it like works. Fifteen in the it works, but not with this. Our mouth. traps, because his dad has said them a couple of times, and he put bread on it, and it worked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's oh. how. Because some things, like Man. you have to be careful when you put but it on the floor. I know that's how mine are. Yeah, but this dude was like. <laughs> he's a smart. He was smart. So you yeah, had rat, you, ha- you just killed Ratatouille. <laughs> so if you're having an issue, you're night. having an issue like, trying to fuck, catch a mouse. Where do our eggs keep going. Tootsie Simple. roll. <laughs> do the tootsie roll. Tootsie roll. Tootsie roll. So what are you gonna say? Oh, Nigerian uh, mouse. Yeah, you, you guys mentioned Nigerian mouse. There's really this uh, this rat in uh, Africa. They're like huge mm-hmm. but they train these rats right because there's uh um to a rob lot of people huh to rob people no <laughs> no <laughs> stupid <laughs> <laughs> i think it was i forgot what the country what country it was from but they trained these rats uh with like tea bags put gunpowder to to like because there's a lot of landmines mm-hmm. that they, they have an issue with because people die from them all the time but they train these big ass rats to to uh, find the landmines. Wow, and they're smart as hell, man. Yo, like, rats are smart. They're smart, mm-hmm. dude. I saw a whole documentary about rats that live in New York City. Mm-hmm. Them rats are smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, if you're walking around, like you would think, well, there's a couple rats out here. No, there's hundreds of millions of rats. Mm-hmm. Hundreds, hundreds of, of millions. millions. Yeah, wow. in New York City. Yeah, I think animals in general, man. They showed one with um, the crows in New York have figured out that they go get um, walnuts, whatever kind of pecans or whatever, and they bring it back to a, a, a traffic area that doesn't have I too much traffic. Yeah. It has enough where they can fly over, they'll drop the, the nut on the, on the floor, the car roll over it, but it's not enough, it's not so much traffic that they can't swoop right, down and right. take it up. The tires crush it, and then they come down, pick up the thing, and then go back, come back. That and, same video, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. They Smart, literally huh? find this perfect spot. They drop the nut, and the cars drive over it, and then they wait till there's a clearing. They go down and they get Pick it. it up. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. They figured it out. They, they, you know, what to do and tools. Yeah. Not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, Mike said. Anybody have any information on snake traps? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Mike. <laughs> Still doing Mike, with that uh, snake. Mike snake. found a snake in uh, a snake skin in snake his um. That snake is probably that snake long is gone, gone man. Yeah, that and if it is gone. in the north, in in this type of area, it's not it's not uh, poisonous. It's um, usually like a garden uh-huh. snake. Or, Dude. I don't know. I saw a big one in front of my house. Yes. No, no. In the in the cold weather, um, there's no poisonous snakes unless someone had well, a rattlesnake. Still, that got I don't want to get bit by. It. Yo, I had. A, I don't know if I ever told y'all about my experience with a snake when we lived in Williamstown. I had a scary ass experience with a snake one day at, at the house. And it, it was yeah, it was in the summertime, so I don't know if it was poisonous. It was a big snake, and it was one of them days where like it's the summer, and I got up from the bed and I'm like oh, tired of going to the bathroom, and I'm brushing my teeth, and you know how you bend down over the sink and the mirror's in, right in front of you, and that bathroom like the 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 counter the sink was kind of short, so I was like right up against the mirror, and I'm brushing my teeth and I'm like kind of blurry, and I just hear like this sound like. Shh, and I'm like, what the hell is that? <laughs> so I looked down, and there was a little ledge where the mirror went all the way across the wall. There was a big-ass snake going across 
what the, the ledge hell? of the mirror <laughs> right in front of my face, bro. Like the right here. And you didn't even see it. I didn't see it because I was wow. like groggy waking up and yeah, and yeah. I I didn't even hear it until it started moving across. Why don't I remember this? You don't remember this? Yeah. You probably weren't home. I think you yeah. were working that Was day. the window open or something? I don't know how it got in there. It was in the bathroom. Jeez. And so, like, I immediately freaked out, like, oh shit! I jumped back, <laughs> <laughs> I jumped because that thing was right in my face, yeah, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. as close as this microphone is to me. Damn! Wow. And so I jumped back, and I'm like, I'm like, oh shit! And I was like, mom, there's a snake in there. So uh, uh, the snake went crazy at right. that point because I freaked out. So yeah. it like went down on the floor and like like got in strike position, yeah. right? And um, so I ran out of there, closed the door, and um, then we called the animal control, and they had to come and like try to wrangle this snake. They had all their tools and stuff, right. and like they was trying to get it. It kept striking at them. Yo, that shit was scary. Shit. Wow. Later on, that you day. know what what type of snake it was? <laughs> they they didn't say. I don't know. It was big though. <laughs> Later on Damn. that day, John John said, "Angie, did it work? <laughs> did he leave? <laughs> well, let's try Jake. Tremax. What is he talking? <laughs> John John said uh, he tried to set me up." He said it was during Hurricane Andrew. What? Maybe. I don't know what he's talking and about. He said, uh, he was like, John, John, come here. <laughs> what does he mean? I if probably, I probably mistake? did try to mess yeah. with him. <laughs> I probably <laughs> did. If it, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I probably did try to scare him with the snake. Okay. Because mm-hmm. uh, it was in the bathroom, but it like had, after it like got scared, it kind of went into the corner of the bathroom. So mm-hmm. then I like looked in. And I tried to call him over to come see it. But he, you know him. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he's talking about the snake. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but that was my one and only crazy experience with a snake, dude. I, I'll, I'll never forget that. It yeah. was like one of them things where it's like, <laughs> damn, right in front of you. It was face. some movie shit, bro. Like I'm brushing my teeth and I just hear this sound that don't sound right. And I look down, and there's a snake in my freaking face, bro. Like, wow. damn. <laughs> I never heard this story either. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, I don't remember that. I think you were at work that day mm-hmm. at, the, <clears throat> at the beach. Yeah, for, I think, you know, from what I do know about poisonous snakes, there's not, they don't, the, the venomous ones really don't stay in cold temperature. Mm. Um, you know, I think the, the, Farthest they'll go is like probably the Carolinas, mm. and then down downwards. And it's like the rattlesnake and the cottonmouth yeah. and stuff like that. But in the tropics, yeah, who? Well, Florida, you know about the yeah. the snake problem out there now. Yeah, that's the more Everglades yeah, is like yeah. overrun. Right, right, right. Mm. And that's more like um, yeah, then, pythons and yeah, what yeah, from pets. It's people, yeah, it's from pets. Boa yeah, constriction yeah, and yeah, pythons yeah. People, mixing together. Are they getting big? People wanting pets and then not realizing. And then they let them go in the Everglades. I remember there was one story where a snake um, ate a whole alligator. Yeah, yeah. Dang. They get pretty big, those, um, uh, the pythons. You know what I mean? They're not as heavy as the anacondas, but they get pretty, pretty long. But in the tropics, I remember, like, in the tro- my sister got bit by a scorpion in her shoe. Oh, yeah. You know? And, of course, like tarantulas and stuff. But there's a lot of very poisonous snake eat, snakes down there. Hmm. You have to be careful. You can't. Just go and do whatever you want. You can't just put on shoes and stuff like that because yeah. they, they they hide to, in there. They hide in the shoes. That's how she got bit. But then they made her eat it because superstition. Mm. But I actually think there's some some like baseness to that. Like <laughs> you think so? I do. I do. Yeah, I think there's something about like if you eat it, the venom counterbalances what could they roasted the crap out of it. it. Hey, maybe it doesn't kill I the mean, venom. You never know. There's 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 real science yeah, to some of that. You know, Don't, I mean? like the flu shot is. You're giving you're you the flu. You're getting injected with the Anti-venom flu. Anti-venom is usually right. venom. Baits from, yeah, yeah the it's venom. made from venom. So that's, you know. That's true. That, that, but, you know. But I'm sure there are also. Uh, I don't want to test that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So she had to eat the scorpion after she got bit. <laughs> um, that, only, and that only works with certain things. I slept with a whore and I got AIDS. <laughs> Sleep with her again. <laughs> <laughs> Look, huh? Eat her. <laughs> you got to inject your sleep with AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> now you have to kill her and eat her. <laughs> then you will be cured. This is how it works, Jamie. <laughs> <I'm spinning. laughs> oh man, um, yo, did y'all hear about? We were talking about Tom Cruise and D- Days of Thunder, and then 
before the podcast, I was telling Jake about the, uh, <clears throat> the, the attorney general or whoever just signed some bill about pre-crime, um, char- like pre-crime, being uh, able to charge for pre-crime. Minority reporting. Minority reporting. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> like, what? I got to look into that. You got to look into it. <laughs> That's pre-crime. There is, there is definitely something that was like passed or something about it. my phone died so I can't even check but mm-hmm. there was something that was passed about like being able to charge people with pre-crime right if you thought about it or using your social media mm-hmm. you know what I mean to uh, establish that yeah, you yeah, know yeah, or yeah, your yeah. search history that's what it's like going that. to yeah it's going to that because they can they can put a log and be like he looked up ropes exactly <laughs> right <laughs> but uh, when you think about it like I was gardening so minority report like they try to they try to put that element of like mystery where it's like the precogs could see it, but it's like no, the precogs is the AI that we keep feeding all this information right, right, to. Right, they're, they're only got, operating off what they are told. So think about it. Not only will it be like stuff that you said or searched or did, mm-hmm. they'll be able to develop algorithms that will say people that searched for toilet paper three times on Tuesdays and then right, right. you know this on Thursdays and then that that right. person is sixty percent more likely to commit this crime. Mm-hmm. So we need to mm-hmm. watch them now. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah. the algorithm is gonna do it based yeah. off of the AI. Yeah. So the AI is yeah. the precog. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, that's what they were saying. Somebody was just saying that recently. Um, they were talking about like these statistics. Like, h- how do we know? Like, who is doing? Who are doing this stuff? And how how are we verifying this stuff? Like, yeah. where are they getting these numbers from? You right. know what I mean? Right. Because that's all. All those type of things would fit. Would be something that would be fit uh, fed to that AI. Yeah. So we don't know if that's skewed or how that's worked. You know what I mean? Dude, there they. I saw an article about how Facebook is doing that already. Right, right. But just as far as like, I know they are. Listen, yeah. if I say, oh man, I needed brushes. Brushes, yeah, you yeah, know what I mean. Right. Sales and brushes, right? Oh man, coffee. I remember coffee. when that first, yo, that <laughs> used to freak here. me out, yeah. yo, when it you first know? started happening. Yeah, you know? so reading this, it has to do with. Uh, it's, it seems like it's talking about um, assessing potential mass shooters, right? But isn't um, that the same thing as Minority Report? Yeah, it is. I, yeah, it is. It is. But this is what I'm saying. So they're going to use, probably going to start using AI, which is going to be based off of algorithms, which they're going to be able mm-hmm. to say, um, you know, 90% of people who have Android, Samsung Galaxies, but also eat Popeye's chicken sandwiches, but also, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. that's going to determine whether you're going to be a mass shooter. So yeah. now we're going to arrest yeah. you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's crazy. Right. But we're the ones creating right. this We are this algorithm. I think we're it's ones- more like... They're looking into, but it didn't. He sign some bill to open it up. Yeah, I mean, I gotta read more, but but there definitely was an article about how Facebook uses algorithms like that. I, I, I we know they yeah. do, Google, but I'm saying like do. specifically like where they can say, oh, if you post this and you post from here and you travel here and you do these things that mm-hmm. means you're gonna buy a tv mm-hmm. you know what i mean like they can do that i see it man listen i'm always in home depot lowe's right and whenever i pass one like email right from home depot yep email from lowe's yep whenever i pass paint sale you know what i mean the the other day and it, because people will say oh it's just coincidence but the other day um when Jake was, when you were going to watch Bad Boy, you dropped the kids in my house, and me and Liz were like, oh, we'll just order the kids pizza. Two minutes later, both of us got emails from Domino's. <laughs> Not even joking. Both of us. Wow. Yep. Mm. Like, listening, man. They mm-hmm. listening. That's right. They're paying for that. George Orwell's 1984, guys. Go check that out. <laughs> yeah. Matri- Matrix. Matrix. Minority Report. No, but George, Tur- George Orwell... Nails it before uh, yeah. anybody else. Oh no, does. yeah, he hit it before everyone. Mm-hmm. But but yeah. Matrix, first Matrix, not the the other ones got silly, right? Yeah, man, nineteen eighty six. That was a good book. <laughs> 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 well, I would just say like, stop using Google, man. <laughs> <laughs> stop using. There's no avoiding it. It's like, what yeah. what are we gonna do? All you can do is just, you know, All right. Keep stay focused on your family, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> like the pre cogs I mean, are coming. Yeah, there ain't nothing you can do. Can you imagine twenty can years from now what it will be? Yeah, 
you know? But think about that. Like, think about the, the similarities of that story, Minority Report, and what they're doing there. Like, the precog would see a crime that could possibly happen. Right. But they're trying to tell us what... Right. They're, they're, all these movies, I feel like, tell us... There's certain things in there that tell us what they want to do. Yeah. You know? I, think, I just saw some movie to copy off Minority Report. What were you going to say? No, I was just saying it. I think it all, like, all the added fear just... It shows you, oh, you got to trust in God more. You know, yeah. You got to mm-hmm. seek him more, trust him more. Cause, yeah. Because all of this will just put you in like a spiral of despair. And yeah, what yeah, are we yeah. going to do? And yeah. Anxiety. You know, yeah, anxiety. Yeah, anxiety. I think I'll, that's a, the, the guy I met on the plane is a real cool guy. I think I told you about him. Yeah. Who said that, you know, he, him and his wife and they went, I think I told you guys about yeah. the story. You know, and it's like, he is, he, it's true. Yeah. Like, you, then, then you can do to stop it. Yeah. Don't engage. Yeah. Don't engage, man. I was just talking to um, Peter Parker and C and, and Jay before the podcast. We were upstairs talking about, like, you know, just the idea of a lot of these celebrities, especially rappers, because the baby just got arrested for something, you know, trying to be hood and trying to prove himself. And we we're just talking about, like, the idea that if you know, like, when you go to a carnival, right, you know the games are rigged. Mm-hmm. Pretty much all of them, right? You go to a casino, you know the games are rigged. Mm-hmm. You know there's a high percent chance that you're not going to win. If you do, it's a miracle. It's by luck mm-hmm. almost always. Mm-hmm. So you know there's really no winning. It's all a lose lose game. So what do you do? You choose not to play those games, right? Mm-hmm. Or if you do, it's just for the experience, but you're really not taking it seriously. Yeah, yeah. Why would you continually play a game? Because that's what that is like, get my respect from. Dudes in the streets, you know what I mean. That's that's a game that there's no winning. Mm-hmm. It's this game that someone invented, like where you got to have street cred. Mm-hmm. Just don't play, don't engage. Mm-hmm. And it's the same thing with like all of this, you know, mm-hmm. censorship and and uh, you know uh, surveillance state and all the stuff that snowed and exposed and the stuff that the government's been doing spying on us. Like, don't engage. Yeah. Just fo- be aware of it. Be aware of it, but don't engage. Don't mm-hmm. fo- focus on, like he said, focus on your relationship with God, with your family, with with your community. Yeah, and just you you will find that there's nothing to be anxious about. Yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. just yeah. I, you know what? I remember telling you guys um, on New Year's or close to New Year's when we did the first one. I kind of stopped listening to music. Well, I listen to music still, but I kind of s- slowed down on it, and I just. Listen to lectures. Mm. You know what I mean? Because mm. I'm like, you know, if I'm going to use this thing, right? Uh, I might as well learn something. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So that's kind of what I've done. I'm like, you know what? Like, it's use here. it for as a tool. Yeah. And I'll, not as a yeah. I'll just type in a lecture and I'll right. say, you know, I want what 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 do I want to learn of? You know what I mean? Like, you talk to, to me about marketing or how to use my platform. Mm-hmm. What would work? Right. So I started listening to, you know, how to attract. You know that. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? I'm, I can listen to music anytime. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'd rather just type in something that I can learn. Right. You know? Because eventually, even YouTube is going to not be, a, right. you know what I mean? I feel like they'll take all that away anyway. Yeah, exactly. You it's it's going to be what MySpace was eventually. It yeah. all goes down that road. Right. And, um, but yeah, subscribe to Gary Vee, though. Like, he's a little <clears throat> over the top and he's a little, you know, mm-hmm. you can, a little motivational speaker yeah, type, yeah, yeah, but yeah. he does give a lot of advice yeah. on, like, how to use the tools, the social media tools for your branding, yeah. like ways to do it. Like there's always a way you can be gaining trust with people. Mm-hmm. There's always ways you can, yeah. you can be authentic and right. that's what's going to sell your business more than you, any of your work is going to ever sell. Oh no, absolutely. You know I mean? No, I, 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 I definitely will. No, I'm, 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 I'm really learning a lot from some of the people that I've been listening to and, Yeah, you know, just what they're talking about. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Makes sense. I mean, you know, it's, you're selling yourself. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. That's what people are gonna be comfortable paying for. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you know what's crazy day. too? It's like there's so much like financial advice on here. Mm-hmm. You know, like simple things, which I'm pretty much doing a lot of those things. Yeah. Like I didn't buy a new car, right, like right. I, you yeah. know, or whatever yeah, it is. You like, do all those things by nature. Yeah, and I'm like ready. So it's just the other small things to implement, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. Yeah. And it's about being consistent with it and taking the time to do it and not like Right. Thinking about like the little bit of time, because uh, I I've been doing this lately. Like a little bit of time, I was doing this. I could have been doing that. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, really, if, really putting it together and saying okay, yeah, you know, yeah. 
Cool. All right, guys, you want to wrap it up? Yeah, wrap it up. Sure. Guys. That was a good uh, podcast. What's up, everybody? Appreciate you watching. Um, my phone is dead, so I don't know who's there. But um, we appreciate you, and we hope to see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe to the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Young Lion TV. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter. Like the page on Facebook. It's all Young Lion TV. And uh, we're going to be bringing some more content to you guys. We're coming up with ideas for more interactive stuff. Um, better social media stuff. Um, also, make sure you check out James's page, Mr. Build Right, um, if you need any work done. Um, also, make sure you check out Jake's page. Um, Jake is doing a lot of. If you're into, if you're trying to get deeper spiritually and you're trying to get a better understanding of biblically and all that stuff, Jake does a lot of good teachings on that. Uh, Moan's doing his graphic thing, and he's got some other stuff coming up. Rachel, make sure you follow Rachel Rachel Rhoda on Instagram. Rachel Rhoda on Facebook and Twitter. You on Twitter? Twitter too. She's got some music coming out. She's posting a lot of good stuff. Uh, the music that she's coming up with, a lot of good ideas. Uh, we love you guys. We'll see you next week. We're out of here. Peace. Young Lion Go. Young Lion Go Live, yeah. Young Lion, you rich, yeah. This kingdom has room, yeah. Go and fight people now.